Hello, how are you guys doing? Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good start of your week. And uh, we are back for another pineapple show. I'm excited. Um, let me see. So if you don't know, if you want to come and talk to Jazz, you um, hit the link in the description of this video, or you send me an email at medimonaco1 at gmail.com, and I can just add you to... Uh, no, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> if I see your email, I send you an email with the link and then you can join. But you know, help yourself, please and thank you. All right. So let me see who is here, who's on time today. Um, let's see. Let me say hello. Hello, Shahwan, Setaris, uh, Chemistry, Khalil, Life with He Age. I can't say your name. I, I apologize. Uh, text one, hello, Robert Bird, what's up? Jose is here, uh, EVS Parsley, um, uh, I don't know how to say that, Fizz, Fizz something, I don't know, Costa, hello, uh, Tyreek, what's up? Michael, the queen of self-care, hey girl, uh, Jean-Claude, hello, Maurice, Ari tries new thing, hello, Jamal Walters is here, what's up? Core cool Gamer, eFly1988. Hello, everyone. I'm happy you guys are here already. Trey Berry, what do you do? What's up? Uh, DR334, hello. Tony Talks. I'm hot. I should have opened the window. I don't like AC, but I should have opened the window. Uh, all right. So I am excited. Let me see. She's not here yet. So I'm going to go text her right now so we don't wait too long. Hopefully, let's see. Let me text, DM her actually. Where you at, girl? Where you at? She's probably trying to log in. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna see what what I, I want to tell you since we're waiting. Um, I released some videos on the. I'm sorry. I released some videos on the traveling channel. If you wanna go watch, it's a bunch of cool stuff. I think I think it's cool. Maybe check it out and tell me if you think it's cool. Uh, I'm going, I think, I'm trying to book a trip. It's to go to Sri Lanka and the Maldives at the same time, or on the same trip, because it's so far, it's 30 hours to, to get there, about. So, so that's why. I think I should do both in one, so I don't gotta come back for another 30 hours. Uh, you guys are already talking shit. She's... Um, She's what? What you guys saying? She's chilling with her boyfriend. She don't got a boyfriend, um, from what she told me. What else? Yeah, Ari. Ari, have you been to, to the Maldives yet? I'm going. I want to go. It, it looks so beautiful. But I heard it's not much to do. So that trip is only like three days from the, the thing I'm doing. And because um, they say everything is on the island and there is nothing else besides the resort. So, but hey. We'll see. Uh, people are talking about she's watching the chat before she comes in. No, she's not. Uh, well, hopefully she's coming soon. I thought I, I hit her this morning. She was cool. So she should be here in a second. I hope. I hope. Um, who else is here? Uh, thank you, Pinarello. I think it's the hair. Pinarello says he likes the, the wild hair, but I think that's why I'm low-key sweating is the hair. Um, she got lost on her way to her bedroom. You guys need to fucking stop and leave the guest alone. You don't even know yet how she is. I've talked to her. She's really nice. So she hasn't read my message yet. So, hey. Um, and I, I want to pull your hair, Maddie. Why would you do that? It's going to hurt. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. We're waiting. <sighs> Great night and chat. Let's do it. Yeah, you guys are going to go crazy, I'm pretty sure. Well, thank you for Carrie. I see Carrie and Troy waiting. Thank you for being here. Hopefully she's coming soon so you don't got to wait too long. Millie, make her come right now respectfully. Well, uh, I don't have that power. I apologize. But hopefully she will come on. Um, DB Smith, what's up? K 
King Richard, hello. Let's see. I plan to watch this on vacation in the island. She better show. Well, I appreciate you coming, if you're on vacation, for coming and being here with us. Who said? <laughs> Melissa, like one of those old people not wanting to turn the AC on. I don't like the AC. That's my thing. It's not like I don't want to turn it on like for um like I don't want to spend the money or whatever. It's really like I don't want I don't like it. So I prefer to open windows and shit. All right. I'm sorry. We're waiting. I'm getting worried cuz she's been usually uh really quick to respond. And now I'm like, where are you at? I'm trying to see did she post that she was coming on the show. I don't know. Let's see. I'm, I'm watching right now. She didn't post that she was coming on the show. So uh, <laughs> not everybody posts. So I don't want to get worried. But hey, we'll see if she shows up. Uh, what's up, Brenda? Brenda here today. Jason, what's up? Uh, I said Sitaris already. People talking she has stage fright. I don't think so. I, I hope not. She. Um, how did you manage in Jamaica without AC? Actually, Jamaica had AC, so, and I, I was fine without using it. Yeah. She late as hell. Where are guys? We're trying. Tardiness will not be tolerated by the chat. Well, guys. Uh, I don't know. We'll wait a little longer and hopefully she'll come. Yeah, it's, you know me. <laughs> I'm starting to, to feel like, hey, I am fucking sweating. Let's see. Melly's electric bill is $3. It's not $3. It is, uh, it's actually high. That's the probably the highest I've ever paid. But uh, yeah. You guys are so uh, pessimistic already talking about another no-show. You guys need to leave me alone. Another no-show. It's been eight minutes. She's coming. I don't know where she lives. So now I'm wondering if she had, the, you know, the, what's the name? Eastern time, standard time, uh, central time, what's she on? I don't know what she on. Let me see if it's in her description. Oh, she's in Atlanta. So, yeah. I told her 9.30, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, what you guys talking about? She wants to make an entrance. Maybe get Facebook girl that are on time. They're on time more when they come from Facebook. I didn't know that. Um. Oh, some, somebody asking me about Gilbert. So Gilbert has been, uh, it's been uh, difficult to, um, he has a, a busy schedule. So, you know, we're still trying to make that work, but hey, we'll see, we'll see when that happens. Guys, I don't know, she hasn't read the message. I'm going to send another one. I don't know if she's sending us up, maybe. Maybe do you have gas in your car? Yeah, it's, it's gas. What do you mean? It's not an electric car. Um, somebody say, Gilbert has been missed. Hey, you guys go and DM him and tell him to come on the show. You know, colored women are usually, oh, wow, okay. Also, you do well on OnlyFans, Melly. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Both statements are, are bold, but uh, okay. I, I'll pass for sure on uh, OnlyFans. That's a fact. And uh, colored women, I'm not late. I'm usually early or on time. So maybe she watched the other shows and saw the chat roasting the guests. I don't think that's what it is. I mean, I talked to her today. She would have told me, hey, I'm not coming. I, I would hope. But maybe not. Who knows? 
Um, yeah, somebody say colored though. That, that's what you wanted to say, colored. Um, I don't know. Well, uh, guys, I apologize. We we might not have a show. It's six ten. She ain't here. I don't know how much longer you guys want to wait for her. Because you know I'm not really trying to wait either. I understand everybody got busy schedule. Uh, she's scared that Jose Perez is going to roast her. I hope not. Uh, you can be colored if she wasn't born and raised in America. Excuse me? Okay. If that's your definition of who can be called colored. Okay, sir. Um, you guys are clowning. The ghost show. Melly, why you didn't come to the car show in New York for many motors? It was 90 degrees. Shit, I didn't know. Where was I last week? I don't know where I was. I was in Atlanta, right? I think so. I could have. Um, somebody said, who said a Trump supporter? Some of us are on time. Especially, yes, thank you. Thank you, in love. Uh, forget her. Talk to us and make some chat. <laughs> Kevin. Uh, well, guys, you know, I don't know if you guys watched the video. Um, of me in Miami, I ran into Kev. How crazy. I was ordering some food and Kev was like saying some shit. I wasn't listening because I didn't know who that was. And then he kept on talking. So I looked and then I was like, oh my God, what are you fucking doing here? So I ran into Kev in fucking Miami. Um, I have a lot of sugar daddies. I didn't know. Who, what, what are they doing? They're paying bills and shit because I wasn't aware. What do you mean running to Kevin's cat? I swear on my life, you guys are fucking funny. Gilbert is online now beefing Kwame Brown live. Hey, he's doing his thing, I guess. Was Kev cool? Yeah, he was. He was really cool. Uh, who is Kev? Well, maybe you haven't watched the show enough. Uh, Kev used to come and talk to girls. Now we don't. But... Um, but yeah, he don't come no more. Kev, you better smash. Really, Blue Hunter, that's what we're on. Okay. Oh, my God. You guys be really thinking I'm a jump off or some shit, talking about he smash, he smash. Many, you need to start having backup female just in case she like this happen. Sir. Do you know the amount of work I need to put in to have this girl showing up? Just one. Well, I can't quit for today. I don't know how she's not here. I talked to her today at 11. And now she ain't here. This is some wild shit. They played me. They played me. They played us. It is what it is. Hey. She's unprofessional. Well, <laughs> somebody said, if uh, what's his name don't come, you should pay them. Well, send me more money. That, that's the thing. You guys be talking about, oh, you need to do this, this, this. How about you participate more? Because a lot of you don't be giving shit. A lot of you. So how about you start giving money so then I can get girls I, I can pay? That, that, would, that would be an option. Please and thank you. Um... Who said, to be honest, I'm trying to see. You guys are talking hell of shit tonight. To be honest, she doesn't look like somebody that respects other people's time. <laughs> There's a look for that. Uh, played you, laugh out loud, no soldier boy. Um, okay, uh, anybody, who, if you have somebody on standby, we can, we can try that, but you got to be quick because... Worst case scenario, just push the show back 45 minutes to an hour, fresh and fit, does it, and we don't trip. And yeah, you should have multiple girls on for shorter increments of time. Well, thank you, jo jo uh, Jose Perez. I guess it's your show now. Tell me, tell me how to run my show. Please and thank you. But uh, 45 minutes back, you think I can find a girl in 45 minutes? That's what you really think. 
that's what you think. It is not that easy to get those girls. Uh, be late is the first red flag. Hey. Well, uh, who said something? Brenda is ready to pull up. You guys want to talk to Brenda? Brenda, show up. But Brenda, um, internet be bad. Now this guy is trying to run the show. Hey. I don't know, guys. We're, we're going to leave. Melly mad as fuck. I'm not mad. It is what it is. Hey, shit happens. Show must go on. Not today, but Wednesday. It will be another show. Uh, let's do a talent show. No, not tonight. Um, what else? It's been a minute, but I'm back. Well, you, you picked the wrong day to come back, sir, because she's not here. Also about to drop it back tonight. Nigga already had uh, already sending bread. Well, I don't know. Another girl pull up. I don't know. We don't have that many girls on here, and I feel like most of the girls who are watching have somebody. So that's the problem we have. Somebody say she played herself. Um, I don't know. Well, uh, Jose Perez, since uh, you you're running the show now, how about you find us a girl? Find us a girl for in 45 minutes and we'll be back. Jose, what's up? Uh, you have 700 people in here. There got to be some female in here that's valid enough to get on. I don't know. Somebody, hey, the link is in the description. If there is a girl that want to come and she's single and you guys want to shoot your shot, I'm open to that. I don't know. I don't know if she's, uh, if anybody want to come. But hey, come. Come, girl. Uh, we should have penalty for Melly when she don't have uh, a no show. A fun prank we can run off her. No, sir. We're not doing that. Let's go, ladies. Hey, they're encouraging you. The show must go on. Ladies, if you're in the chat, pull up. Oh, my God. I'm over it. Somebody saying, maybe you are a pimp, you should have a stable of hoes ready. Really? <laughs> I'm no pimp, sir. Um, choose the Henny or chemistry. Henny and chemistry know what's up. Or Brenda. They are not pulling up. We know that already. Drop some fives. What? Um... I don't know. I'm trying to think who I know that could come, but hey, it's so last minute. I don't think people are just gonna show up like that or just answer. Let me see. I, I met DM one girl that she really wanted to do to redo the show, but I don't know if she's gonna be um, available on the fly like that. Let me let me DM her. Hey, fingers crossed. Let me see. And you guys liked her too. But I was like, we got to wait a little longer before you can come back around. But let's see. Let's see if she's here. Let me message her. Let me see. People are coming up. I'm sorry, people. Whoever is coming in, I see like people want to talk uh, or are coming to, to shoot their shot. I'm sorry, she's not here um, yet. Uh, hopefully she come. Okay, I'll DM two girls. Let's see if one will come. Uh, shit, what was her name? Ooh, I forgot. I forgot her name. She said yes. What? Guys, we might be saved. I'm too excited. She says she's just getting home. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Hey, we, we might be saved. And you guys liked her, so that might be a good show. It's so crazy because I was ready to say, okay, never mind. Um, but let's see. 
somebody say she's texting Birdie. Uh, no, I'm not texting. <laughs> Birdie did the show twice. So she said, she said, what she said, let me get myself together. What I, I'm like right now. Let's see. Hey, she might show up. Or should we push back? What, what, what are you guys thinking? Pushing back until uh, seven, that's what time for you? Nine uh, for you, like everybody is on the West, uh, East Coast. Um, 10 p.m. or we'll see. She said right now. Somebody say start at 10. So are you, are you, all of you gonna come back? Let's see, what, what should we do? Give her time to set up, Mehdi, you think so? Maybe can you show your forehead? Fuck you. <laughs> it's here. It's big. And beautiful, right? Um, so what we're doing, guys, you tell me. Put a one in the chat if you think we're coming back at 10 p.m. slash 7 p.m. Or if, um, or if, uh, if what? Or if we're doing right now. Tell me. One, uh, one is 10 p.m. I'm sorry. <laughs> one is 10, 10 p.m. Two is right now. Let me know. I got to go to sleep. No. Oh, come on, Pinarello. You can leave us like this. Oh, it's a bunch of twos. Damn, you guys are right now. You're like, no, fuck this shit right now. Well, I told her right now already. So I'm trying to see if right now is going to happen. If she says she needs some time, then we'll push back to 10. I'm sorry. And whoever can come back can come back. But yeah, everybody fucking saying too. You guys are like, right now. Come now. Um, I'm going to see what she says. I'm going to send her the link too so she can. I'll save this show. I'm pulling up with a wig. I <laughs> Shut up. We don't need no man on here. Let me see. I'm going to send her the link so she can come. I can't believe this other girl. I'm like, wow. And then what? Uh, OK, let me not talk shit, OK? I'm not going to talk shit. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. She's saying right. She's saying she's coming. I think. Um, and I'm getting email talking about. Can I talk to Jazz? Jazz ain't coming. I can't believe this girl. I do not understand this with with girls. If you change your mind, what does it cost you to tell me, yo, I'm not coming? Whatever time it is, even if it's an hour before, I might try to find some. Uh, I might be able to find somebody. I don't know why girls be doing that. It's crazy to me. I would never stand somebody up like that. Just crazy. Um, hey, everybody. I got me a coupon to the Waffle House. Uh, and <laughs> you're going to enjoy? Waffle House be good. I agree. Um, let's see what she's. Uh, many keep chatting. She's rude. Well, yeah, that uh, not the 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 lovely girl I'm finding for you right now. Uh, I think you guys are going to want to watch her. Okay, I'm going to show you who uh, is coming, so then you guys can come. Let me let me share my screen. Wait, let me find her first on, on the computer, and then let me find the screen for you. Yeah, you guys are going to want her. It's uh, Wait, she's typing. Let's see what she's saying. Uh, we know she's solid to be ready on the fly. Damn right. Uh, she said, oh, damn, okay, hold on a second. She's coming. Girl, you are saving me. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. Shit happens. But yes, let me show you who is coming. Is it Brenda? No, it's not Brenda. Brenda is never pulling up for me. Um, somebody said she probably was scared her dude see her on the show. She told me she got no show. Uh, no, show. She got no dude. How you know she got a, she got a dude now? Uh, let me see. Oh, let me share my screen so you guys can see um, how I do that again. Uh, I think it's here. No, it's not. Here we go. Share screen. Let's see. All right, you guys see what I see? 
So this is her. You remember her? She coming. You remember her? Do you? I think she's in Texas, I think. She's so pretty. So yes, that's who is coming, guys. You guys, you guys ready? Yes. Okay, Megan talking about I remember. Megan, if you are single and you didn't show up for us. Mm -mm -mm. She's pretty. KB, all these girls talking about, yeah, KB, why you didn't show up? You better have a boyfriend or a husband or something. Um, Melly, you ain't got no sister. I have a sister, but uh, she she's married, about to get married with kids. Give her 30 minutes to get ready, Mel. Um, she says she's coming. She's coming. So we're going to see. Melly fails is again. Uh, Sony, Sony. Before, before I say something wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, Megan is saved. You're saved, girl. You can you can keep and stay with us. She says she's not single. Okay. Uh, Megan and KB need to pull up. Well, Meg Megan says she 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 she's not she's not ready. Uh, she she got no. She she has a boyfriend. So or a husband. Who knows? Um. I don't remember, but she pretty. Yeah, she's super pretty. Maquita, you're single? The description, she keeps saying jazz. Yes, but I mean, I didn't change. You guys, well, okay, you want me to go change that? I wanted to make sure we, we had somebody before I make any changes and change pictures and all, you know? Um, you know, I'm trying. Baby Zaddy Juan, hello. <laughs> you guys be having the funniest name. But yeah, so I'm sorry. Thank you for being here. Still holding on. Um, but yes, her name is Dashay. And she is coming for us. Coming to save me for the night. Uh, so hopefully she's going to be here soon. Um... She is gorgeous. Lay. Again, another lady. Lay. Are you single? Lay, if you're single and you didn't pull up to save the show. Uh, you guys, funny. Uh, jazz band from the Pineapple Show. Well, she probably don't want to come, so it doesn't matter. Um, you guys need to leave me alone. You guys talking, but you know, we didn't have a no-show in a long time. We had to push back and then she came. So that wasn't really a no-show. She came that same night, just an hour later. So you guys need to leave me alone. And tonight too, it's not going to be a no-show. We have somebody coming. We have the Shay coming. Uh, okay. Let me see. This is all hands on deck, all pretty ladies to the front. Seriously, I'm, I'm seeing all these pretty girls. Nobody want to come. Lay fan as fuck. Well, you better come. You better come talk to her. How am I pimping the chat? I, oh, because I'm telling the girls to show up. Well, nobody want to come. They're like, I'm not single. They're not single. Staying quiet. B carrier 93, are you single? See, you ladies, you guys be lying to me and just don't want to show up for me. Um, what else? You guys are talking. Uh, sorry, Melly, I ain't got your money tonight. Please don't beat me. What, <laughs> what money? Let me see. All the girls do a collab with Hot Boy. Oh, I need to do collabs now. Well, thank you. Maybe the lady in the chat know they ain't shit, so that's why they don't want to pull up. I don't think that's what's going on with the ladies in my chat. They're just pretty and they are uh, faithful. 
That's what I'm going to say. Well, Naiji, thank you. Uh, being late speaks volume. No excuses. I kind of do agree with you, but we, we found somebody else that is going to come and save us. So um, we're going to see. She's texting. She's DMing. My eyes hopping on now. She's coming. Whoop, whoop. She's coming. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna start. I need to go do some. Um, uh, what's the word? To change the the thing. What's the name? The the thumbnail. Oh my god, I couldn't find the word. I need to change the thumbnail so that um, you guys know who is Jazz at Magic City Monday eating lemon pepper wings. <laughs> hey, maybe that's where she's at. Well, she that's so crazy. She was so excited to come on the show too. I had no. No worries about her. You know how girls sometimes they be like, ah, oh, a little iffy, taking too long to to respond and shit. And I'd be like, ah, eh, it might be an issue with her. With her, I had no no doubt. But hey, I was wrong. I was very wrong. But hey, we're gonna see what the Brenda here playing video game. Brenda, what you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, need uh, need. Niji. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, Niji. Uh, but thank you for sponsoring the show. Hello. What are you watching? I'm playing games. Brenda, goodbye. <laughs> Brenda, playing with us. I'll kick her from this. Well, thank you, uh, Niji. I mean, sorry, I said Niji. Niji, yes. Need for speed. <laughs> Let me see. I apologize, everybody who is waiting for a long time. I mean, all of you who are still here. I appreciate you. Nothing is going on, and you guys are still here waiting. But she's for real coming. Let me see. Is she here? No, nope, that's not her. She's coming. Give her five seconds. Uh, why are women always late? I don't know. They be taking forever to get ready. And then some feel like you should wait a little bit for them, you know? Some women are like this. Meli, when is our date? I don't know. Do I know you, Brad? I don't think so. Let's see. Uh, shit. Where's she at? Um, 360, Meli, for the chat. No, sir. There's a lot of stuff online on Instagram if you want to see more. Meli is the curve queen. How? I didn't curve nobody. He just, I don't know him. Um, let's see. Okay, somebody has the answer for why women are always late. Because they are narcissists. Okay, the true definition, not the one everybody uses. Okay, well... I, I don't think all women are narcissists. I would I hope not. Uh, gotta have them pay a deposit to take you serious. Fuck no. I'm not doing that shit. That's a fact. Um, all right. I, I apologize. She's coming. Maybe we should have pushed it to 10 because we're almost there. Um We'll settle for 180. No, Eddie. Maybe she has some explaining to do when she arrives. It's not her. Uh, make sure. Okay, guys. It is not the initial girl. The initial girl, her name was Jazz, and she didn't show up. So we're just done. But we have another lady who is coming to save the show. Her name is Deshay. Very pretty, very nice. You guys are going to like her. So... You'll see. So don't be upset because this is not the same lady that we're having right now. Uh, ask her what's her body count. Why would I ask her her body count? No, sir. Um, do a 90 degree turn and body roll. And a body roll, really. A body roll. That's what you want to see. Um. Let's see, let's see if it's her. 
<gasps> the Shay's here, guys. She came to save the fucking show. She's here and she's looking good in five minutes. So that tells you what's up. We're going to go straight to her because I've been making you wait. She hasn't. So guys, don't be mad. The Shay is not the initial lady that was supposed to come on. She's coming to save us. Hey, girl. Hi. I'm so excited. Like, we were about to cancel the show. And I was like, let me see if you're available. Because you, you told me, you know, you, you enjoy the show. And I was like, let's see if you're free today. Right. <laughs> well, I'm excited that you are. Because actually, they did like you last time. So I'm sure more men can come and shoot their shot. Well, I want to know. So um, nothing worked out? Any of the guys that, um, that came, it didn't work out for you? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I kept in contact with uh, one, the one that did the monologue. <laughs> Drew Fasa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I kept in contact with him, just like friends wise, like, you know. Okay. Actor that, actress. Okay. Hey, it, maybe a friendship, who knows? Or uh, a work connection, who knows? Right. Right. So, how was your day? It was good. I just. Okay. What did you do? Uh, I'm a barber, so I just finished cutting hair. Hey, nice. Okay. Do you know how to do your own hair? Uh, yeah. Like I yeah. grow my own hair. Uh, I I don't though, just because it's very hard. <laughs> okay. Oh, got you. Oh, that's cool. Um, all right, so uh, I know it's your second time around, but we, for whoever didn't see you the first time, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Dashe, and right now I'm located in the Dallas area, North Dallas area, and um, yeah, I like to act, sing, model, um. I also direct. Um, I just finished uh, shooting a short film. Oh, nice. Yeah. And um, yeah, I have a daughter. Uh, I'm 26. And yeah, that's good. Okay, no worries. If they have more questions, trust me, they will ask. Right. Uh, I'm making a thumbnail so we know it's not the, the first girl coming on uh, for for the show. But okay. um. Okay, so we are going to try to look for your men. Right. <laughs> together. And um, so what are you looking for? T tell me as far as um, um, personality. Personality-wise, I'm looking for somebody that's like, I need somebody that's passionate, compassionate, um, who could... Um, who knows how to check their own ego, for real. Uh, who uh, is kind. Um, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> my my camera, on. yeah, my camera messed up. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, somebody who's kind, compassionate, likes to help others, uh, driven, ambitious, you mm -hmm. know, like the usual. Okay. Uh, what about looks? What do you like? Yeah, I've definitely said this before, but um, needs to be a black man. <laughs> black man. Okay, that's your preference. Okay. Preference, a black man. Um, tall. How tall? I'm talking like at least over six foot. Because I'm five six. So when I put heels on, I'm like five nine. Okay. So I need just a little bit. It doesn't have to be too crazy. Which is a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, how, uh, you have a preference for his hair since you're a barber? That might be important uh, to you. Honestly, just have a nice, nice haircut. Like, if it's, if it's like receding at that point, just shave it off, you know? Okay. Just shave it off. <laughs> um, I like a nice, clean haircut. Uh, I like I like dreads. Uh, I like honestly anything that's on the head. I like, but I'm, I also like somebody who's like physically fit. Now you don't have to be the fittest, but who's just like to your 
like your fit. Like you can mm-hmm. tell fit to their fit, you know? Okay. Um, how much money? How much money does he need to make? Um, he needs, I feel like he needs to make enough to sustain a woman. Like, to take care of a woman, you know, if you want, if that's what your goal is, is to have a woman. So I'm thinking about probably like at least, at least like 80,000. Okay. 80,000. 80,000 a year. Okay. Can you have kids? Yeah. I like kids. So. Okay. But like, I feel like two is like max though. <laughs> okay. So two by the same mom or a different mom is okay? Different mom is okay. Some people make mistakes sometimes, you know. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to see uh, if you can find him for you <laughs> this time, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, just to remind you, then um, you, I'm going to bring a man at a time. And if you're feeling the vibe, you can talk to him, ask him questions. He's going to ask you a question. And if at some point you're not really liking him like that, you can just say pineapple and then we'll move on to the next guy. Okay. Also, I don't know if uh, last time you were here, we had that um, installed in the, in, in, on the show, but we have an instant pineapple. So anyone who sent $20 to the, to the chat with pineapple, the guy who is talking to you instantly. Okay. Wait. So just in case, you know how sometimes you're having a hard time uh, saying pineapple. So sometimes the chat is going to come and help you and say pineapple for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or if they feel like one of the guys is not good for you, they're going to say pineapple for you. Okay. Okay. All right. But don't forget to say pineapple for yourself. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't just wait on the chat because you might wait a long time sometimes. Right. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's see. Uh, I have, uh, yeah, we're going to start with Kari because he's been here. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? You all right. I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good. Hey, Deshae. Hi, how are you? Did I say your name correctly? Yeah. You All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, what's up? <laughs> uh, just chilling. Just got off just the work. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, you're a barber, man. That's that's lit. I was yeah. like, dang, that's, that's cool. A barber. Yeah. Dallas. I ain't never been to Dallas. Everybody say I should visit Texas or something sometime. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Detroit. Detroit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I guess a little bit about myself. Uh, I just turned 28. From Detroit, uh, I got one of my own. It's a little girl. Oh, I got a little girl too. Yeah, um, uh, I'm a board certified behavior analysis um, or child therapist for short. You know, whatever you want to say. Um, I make music on the side. Uh, not a rapper. I'm a singer. Okay. Um, can we, I like, huh? Can we hear something? No, I was trying to think of something else. Like to say, okay. I think. Um, that's all I got so far. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're a child's therapist? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, I, I do, um, apply behavior analysis for children on the spectrum. So like autistic children, Asperger's, things of that nature. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, did, like, what did you go to? Hmm? Did you, like, what school did you go to? Oh, Wayne State University. Okay. Is mm-hmm. that- I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on my phone. This is crazy. Say that again. That- One more time. I apologize. Is that is that in Detroit? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's a uh, college in uh, downtown Detroit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you go to uh, school at all? Uh. No. I went to training school, which is barber school. Okay. All right. How tough is that? Like. Do they make y'all cut on mannequins or y'all just practice on people the whole time? Uh, I I used to, um, I don't know how I did this, but I used to convince the girls at my school to shake the back of their head. Mm. <laughs> I used to cut their hair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I used to do like designs and stuff. So like they'll do mannequins, but mm. mannequins are really hard to paint to see properly. And, mm. you know, so I just always practice with people. You got like a trademark cut? Like what's your, what's your specialty? Like fades. 
fades. You can do a dry fade. Hey. Fades, tapers. Yeah. Tapers, tapers. All right. That's cool. Because last barber, I told him to do me a drop fade. He like, shit, man. <laughs> like what? He didn't know what it was? He was complaining about it. Like, he like, man, you keep me on my toes. You asked me to do a drop fade. And then he charged me $10 extra. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> man. That's cool. Yeah. So how old is your, uh, your little girl? Uh, she'll be five next month. Five? Okay. Mm-hmm. How about you? Uh, my daughter's six. Six. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, so I do got a question. Mm-hmm. Do it. Do the attitude. Do it get easier? Because mine is like real spicy. Like, oh, no, it don't. It doesn't actually. Sorry. <laughs> she be trying. To, she be trying to tell me what she can and can't do. Fight me at bedtime. All that other stuff. Man. Oh, that's gonna. That's gonna happen. As the older they get, that will still be way. All right, no, no baby daddy drum. No. All right, cool. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to get shot or nothing like that. Oh, he not even about that life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah, you can get my. Well, uh, uh, the DA just asking was uh, not with it. He says, "Speaking of fades, uh, you gotta go." Uh, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just so you know, he can come back around if you did like him. If he gets pineapple by the by the chat, he can come back around and and talk some more. So we'll see if he comes back around or if if you want him. Did did you like him a little bit or no? Yeah, I did. I would. <laughs> okay. Well, the chat did that to you. Um, yeah. Somebody said cog blocking. Hey, let's see. Ooh, two people sent twenty dollars actually. Uh, shit. All right, let me see. James, thank you for the 20. She fine, personal trainer and massage therapist. Uh, well, James, that's not how it works. You got to come. Right. You don't just drop your IG and thinking she's coming for you. You got to come for her tonight. Wow. Hey, can come through. Let's wow. see. I have baby Zaddy Juan. Hi, Zaddy. What's up, Melly? Nothing much. How are you? I'm oh, good. Hi, how are you? How you doing, Miss Cheney? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so I got some questions for you. Okay. Um, you was talking about you want somebody that checks their ego. What you mean by that? Like, uh, I was actually just speaking to one of my friends about this. Um, I feel like uh, men get sabotaged, or not, not. I wouldn't even say men. It's everybody, like anybody with the ego, really, like. Um, just to check your ego, make sure you're not sabotaging uh, opportunities or people or, you know, yourself for that matter, for um, your ego. Because I feel like sometimes ego, people would um, base their actions off of their ego. And half of the time, ego is just something that it's not even really there. It's just something that you like make up for yourself. So, All right. Yeah. Okay. And what you looking for? You looking at? Have kids, marriage, like what you looking for in the next five years? I don't even know. Like I'm just looking to find the person first. Like I don't know if like that means marriage or you know, but I would like to gear towards that like as I'm older, like marriage. Um I'm still iffy on whether I want to have more kids or not. Um yeah, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm mostly focused right now on, like, my career and trying to, you know, build what I have going on. And But if I find that person that, you know, I could get married to and have kids, I would definitely be open for that. Juan, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Where Atlanta. do you live now? I'm in Dominican Republic now. Okay. Are you having fun? Well, the chat say uh, alcoholic hepatitis. What what are you talking about? I was about to say hepatitis is a drastic boom boom. From- <laughs> Seriously. Uh, well, hopefully, baby Zadie Juan comes back around. Did you like him? Uh, no, I was seeing what else you know. I was gonna. Well, ask. Yeah. Oh. Yes, we didn't get a lot to know a lot about him, so that's why I'm still you know. 
Maybe mm-hmm. you should come back around. Um, let's see. We got Tyra. Tyra, uh, you got to put your camera on if you want to come on. Hello. Uh, hey. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I know you said you just want black man. Have you tried an Italian man? Um... No, I don't think I have. But um, don't think you had. I know. So you don't even know what that's like. Thank you. She said. She said no to to Hardy thirty nine. She said no. She don't want to try. <laughs> Thanks for the Lord talking about. She said black. <laughs> like she said black. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Tyra. Tyra, you in the dark? Oh wait. Pineapples. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tyra, I don't know. Oops. Fuck. I, uh, pineapple, uh, the shade. The shade, come back. <laughs> the shade, that was me. Come back. Um, I don't know. I clicked the wrong button. You know me. Girl, come back for us. Let me, let me DM her. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's going to come back, but, uh, let me make sure she does. Let me see. Come back. Uh, all right. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Um, she's gonna. She wasn't showing that much interest. You think so? Um, Minnie got scared. I did get scared, and then I pineapple him, or she pineapple him, and then I clicked another button. Um, who says she likes girl? I'm going home. Uh, I'm going to bed. How you know? Uh, she seems cool. She's hella cool. Um, somebody said, maybe be nervous about those dark screens. Yeah, because uh, people be doing dumb shit. The shade, come back, come back over here. Uh, who else we got? Uh, where's Daquan? I don't know where Daquan at. Let me see. Anyone can get it as hot boy. What do you mean? What happened with hot boy? She seems like a good woman. Yes, I like her. Um, let me see. Hopefully she comes back. Uh, free Daquan. What do you mean free Daquan? Daquan is good, I think. I saw him post something earlier or yesterday. Um, let me see. The shade. Or maybe I didn't kick her out now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if it was me. I'm not sure it was me, but I thought it was. Uh, she's tied up on Instagram. No, she's not. She has good energy. I agree. Um, I apologize, guys. I didn't pineapple her. I hit the wrong button. She's back. Here we go. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Wait, was it me or you? I have no idea. It just like went blank. And I was like, <laughs> I think I think I clicked it. So it was me, I think. Well, thank you for coming back. Of course. Yes. All right. So let's see. I got uh Ishmael. Ishmael, are you here? No? Okay. Chad. <laughs> Hi, Chad. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi, Chad. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi. Melly, you look like you smell good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Deshay, hello. Hi, how are you? Hey, uh, Deshay, I got a question. Yes. Do you find me physically attractive? I find you physically attractive. Yes. <laughs> Pineapples. Uh, well, I don't know why that like. <laughs> so I don't know why Chad be be yelling saying hello. Hey. 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 <laughs> no. Wesley, hello. Your mic is off. 
what the hell? Well, Wesley is gone. Three peas. Hey, what's going on, Belly? Nothing much. How are you? Hi. You remember this, Gina? That's the one I wanted. Remember, I told you, let me talk to the shape. I'm with. <laughs> and did you meet? Did you come on the show, or you had missed it? It was one show I had missed. It. You missed it. See, she's back. But, hey, Deshae, I'm, I'm going to show you something, too. Look at this poster right here. <laughs> I'm, a big, I'm a big Gina fan. Let me see. Yeah. We can see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. You know, it, Gina always been my type of woman, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm going to take, I, I'm going to ask you this, Deshae. I live in the Dallas area, too. I live in North Dallas. So, uh, I maybe want to see if we could possibly occupy a time where we could set up a date or something. You know, I can talk to you, make it simple and cohesive. Because, you know, guys out here, they 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 trying to find out for I rather just talk to you in person and set up a good ass date, you know, while we out here in the same city. Yeah. Um, I mean, three P's, you got to give her a chance to like you. I you got to take yeah. a little bit. We gonna find that out on the date. It's, it's, she's not gonna be disappointed. I'm not gonna disappoint my my Gina. Okay, pineapples. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that makes me cringe so bad. Yeah, but you guys, you can't come on here just talking about yo. Let me take you on a date. Like hey. you gotta talk a little bit so she she knows who she's dealing with a I little. Bit. On a date with. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, you said, damn, Gina. <laughs> yeah, he was moving kind of quick. I agree. Yes, very quickly. All right, let's see. Uh, we got Chandler. Hi, Chandler. Okay. Hi. What's up? I'm just saying, hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no, Chandler. Uh... I got slide dessert. Hello. Hi. What's going on, ladies? How y'all doing? I'm good. Good. How are you? Chilling. I'm chilling. It's my first time on the show, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how everything works. My boy put me on, told me about the show, but... Well, you're here. You can talk to Deshae. Word. What's going on, Deshae? Nothing. Just chilling. You're really beautiful. I love your smile, for real. Thank you. I appreciate that. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from New York City, but I'm in Dallas right now. Okay, I've never been to been to Texas, but okay. yeah, I'm, I live in Newark right now. I've been in like New York area my whole life. Um, I'm gonna say, looks like you about to kick a freestyle. I, I'm, I'm peeping the chat. <laughs> I do rap on the side. I'm, I'm in law school right now, though, so I got a couple of different hustles, different different things I got going on. Okay, that's cool. So, how old are you? I'm 26 right now. 26. How about you? 26. You're 26 too? Yeah. You should not just say because I said it? Huh? I said you're not just saying you're 26 because I said it? No. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. What's your birthday? My birthday is October. October what? October. I, I want you to guess. You're probably in the 20s, aren't you? Are you Scorpio? I am. Yeah. I, I could tell. For real? You? I have a thing for Zodiac signs, so. That's really crazy, though. What's yeah. that? 12 chance? And I hear a lot of bad, like, I'm defending the Scorpio side because I, normally I tell people I'm a Scorpio and I get a lot of hate, but you know, I feel like Scorpio's got good vibes. But yeah, I'm a you, you got it to a day? You got it to a day? Because you said I'm in the 20s, but I want to know what, what day exactly you think. Uh, you look like, like a 23rd. 24th. You're one day off. That's pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. To be honest. What about you? Can I, can I guess your sign? Yeah. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with the Pisces for you. That's crazy because I am a Pisces. <laughs> Yo, come on, that's that's really wild. That's you get, crazy because I am a Pisces. That's chemistry right there, for real. <laughs> Wait, the chat is crazy. Are they, are they me in the chat? See, I don't even know how to peep everything. Hey, they said uh, the chat want to see a hairline check. Yeah. Damn, y'all really coming for me? I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. <laughs> it's, it's rough. Terrible. It's, be honest with me, this this terrible for you right now? No, it's not that bad. I've <laughs> seen like I've seen like I'm ass in love now, so the chat can see my hair because y'all y'all coming for me crazy. Turn, turn to the side real quick. 
I got a cut a couple of days ago. It's a little little mid fade going on. Mid fade. Okay. Yeah. Would you like you let me with the hat better? You think I should leave it off? I mean, you can leave it off. All right, cool. That's cool with me. <laughs> um, well, let me say something. Or not, you you gonna say something? To me? Go, no, go ahead. Ask me all the questions. Nah, okay, that's cool. So everybody talking about they want to take you on a date. What's the what's the best first date you've been on before? It could be either in Dallas or New York. Um, well, I was actually I was in New York, but the guy that took me on the date was from London. And he actually got me all this food from Great Britain. I think with UK. <laughs> it's a <like> Great Britain. <laughs> Food. That's the thing I hear that they like it's beautiful over there, but you got some like fish and chips and some yeah. white food. Good. That was actually really bad, but it was the thought mm -hmm. that So he got all the food and he took me to this like to this little spot that that he likes, and we had a picnic. And it was just like it wasn't anything too crazy, but it was just the fact that like he put everything together. It was really cute, but yeah. All right, I like that. They're like, it doesn't have to be, you're not the type that needs some over the top, some helicopter ride or private jet type mm -hmm. vibe. You want it. legit connection with somebody, somebody you can. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like this. Uh, the, the instantly pineapple Jew, his hairline looks like the Wu Tang symbol. I'm over you. Stop saying shit like that. DA just asking the fuck. <laughs> No. Wow. Why are you making fun of men with a bad hairline? <laughs> They'd be saying girls shouldn't do it, and then you hear men talking shit about other men's hairline. Right. Um, well, he can come back around. It, since you didn't pineapple him, he can come back and talk to you some more. Oh, he was nice. Anyway. Like well, we'll see if he comes back. Somebody say we talk for a <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You guys stupid. Uh, what do you mean, damn Melly? I didn't do that. Uh, let's see. I have live by Leo. Hello. What's good? How you girls doing? Doing good. good. How are you? I can't, I can't see. Doing good. So I heard you're a videographer. I wanted to ask you, what gear do you use? Because right now I'm shooting with the Nikon, with the Z9. You know what I'm saying? She's not a videographer. Oh. I thought you, she said no, she was a videographer. No, I, I mean, like, I directed. I co-directed. Oh, you direct? But yeah. then that means you have experience yeah. with cameras, right? Yeah, I have experience with cameras, but I don't have like, like the like all the gear. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not because I collect I, all that shit. That's why I collect all the cameras. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I shot my first one on a, a iPhone, and it was actually pretty good quality. So I bought a I bought a vintage camera the other day, and this was from 1942. This camera. So I, that, I pay like twelve hundred bucks for that thing. Pineapple. But... pineapple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why we're talking about cameras. Exactly. We're good. Um, <laughs> let me see. I got uh, Wesley. Oh, Wesley, you're back. We yes. had to talk earlier. Oh, okay. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Thanks for asking. Um, you look like um, Janet on uh, and my wife and kids. Yeah. That's the same one. <laughs> yeah. You, that's, yeah. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, what do you think about uh, a long distance relationship? Uh, well, I'm I'm a okay. So my love language is physical touch and quality time. Like that's my top two, and so I need to since that kind of goes hand in hand with being present. I don't, I don't really do long distance relationships. Okay, you cannot. No, I cannot. What would you miss the most? I'm sorry, say again. What would you miss the most? What would I miss the most? Yeah, about the relationship, uh, not see the guy, uh, sex. Yeah, just probably not seeing the person, spending time with them. Okay, 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 good. What yeah. about you? Did you did you have a, a long distance relationship before? Uh, I did once. Uh, not my uncle's coat. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my 
it kind of cooked me. Um, yeah, I did once when I was like eighteen, but that didn't last long. So. <laughs> okay. Um, pineapples. No. No for you. Okay, guys, you need to have your camera on because I can click on your name if the camera is not on. I see Rick Ishmael. Guys, I can click on you. Uh, I can click on Rick. Hi, Rick. How you doing? Hi. Man, look, we oh. got. A... <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah I know. Hi, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Rick, you talked to Rick last time? Yeah, he was on here last night. And she basically said I'm a hoe, Millie. And that's, I just had to go ahead and clear it up. She, <laughs> I did not say he was a hoe. She, she said that in the DMs or on the show? She said it on the show. She said, okay. I, then yeah, she, okay. she said I tried. I was trying hard. I'm like, bro, this is my personality. I just, just a ball of life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. It crazy. I was like, damn, bro. But. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, in my defense, it was to me, it came off like maybe you were just, yeah, maybe you were just excited, but that's how it came off to me. It's a lot, man. It's, it's too much stuff going on in the world to be walking around. Hey, up to the chat talking about you are a womanizer, so maybe the, <laughs> maybe the shade. Was <laughs> you, I want to know what's so crazy, man. I, when, when, I don't think men do this, but when I see a woman that's attractive, I don't think she's a man either. But it's like on the other, on the opposite end, when a girl see me, they be like, you nice looking, you gotta be a hoe. I'm like, why I gotta be a hoe? Why I can't just I say that. But yeah, um, yeah, you ain't give me no chance, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like that you came back, though. I like that. Uh -huh. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I was just, I ain't gonna lie to the, the conversation. It started getting like kind of stale. So I was like, damn. They said, fuck out of here. <laughs> they are not giving this man a chance. He done came back. He can still come back for you. Two okay. people I, send the 20. I, I kind of like that he came back. Uh, KB, do you love me? Are you writing? Say so you never leave me. What the fuck? What you guys are on? Right. Mm -mm. Well, they came for Rick. Yeah, I liked him. I think he was cool. I like Rick. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do. So, but hey, the the I don't know. The chat don't like the him. Ain't feel him. <laughs> but that maybe the him. chat sees that um, there is something about him that we as women might not see. So oh. maybe that's why all us all us men cheat as long as we come home to you. Then you're the main girl. Not all. Well, you agree with that? I don't think all men cheat. Oh, you don't think that? Okay. I've I've met men. I have friends who are men that they've never cheated. Okay. And I feel like cheating just has to do with self control. And there's a lot of men that have self control. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> somebody, I, I never cheat. cheat. <laughs> and somebody say I cheat. <laughs> Black men especially don't cheat. Don't cheat. Black never. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, these guys just hating on Rick. You think that's what it is? I don't I know. Tell him a little bit. Hey, hopefully he comes back. Um, wait, oh, Carrie, come back. Came back. Yeah, I'm back, man. Chat, hold me. With the <laughs> they hold me with the pineapple. That's cool, though. I, you know, I guess I skipped the boring stuff. They was talking about, so, oh, can we get past this surface level combo? Da, 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 da. But it's like, what else you supposed to do when you meet somebody for the first time? You know what I'm saying? Right. Service level combo. I guess they want me to ask some 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 nitty gritty stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna do that though. Okay. Some guys get on here and be like, "Boom, hey, what's up? Cool with your nipples or some shit like that." That, that shit. That's crazy. That shit crazy, man. That shit crazy. Anyway, um, so you dating right now? Like you looking? You looking to date right now and stuff? Yeah, I've been I've been single for like five years, so I've been. Five years. Yeah. I've been single for five years. Just my physical choice. Like I've had opportunities to be a girlfriend, but it's just my personal choice of um, to, like settle. Uh, um. So like, what you like? What you like? What you looking for? Like, as far as like, 
Um, as far as what, like personality or? I mean, like in a relationship though. Like, if you were to get in a relationship, what do you, what would you want out of a relationship? Um, I want. I don't know. I just want to. I want memories. Memories. Like good memories. Like just stuff I could look back on and be like, oh, I did that with this person, and you know, just you know, I'm a very chill person, like go with the flow type person. Um. Like, I'm not, I don't really like to argue too much. Same. I really like, I don't really like to do that all too much. But I, I'm just looking for somebody who can, like, match me, like, my goofiness, the things I want to do, like, also want to do the same things I want to do, like, want to build with me, like, I need somebody who's ambitious, you know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. So you uh you you into like trying new foods, traveling, things of that nature? Yes, I love traveling. I actually just came back from uh Las Vegas. That was the first time I ever been to Las Vegas. Last I've year. never been to Vegas. Vegas was really fun. Was it one of those what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas type things or not really. I just no. yeah, it was just fun. Nope. Bullshit T shirt. <laughs> Yeah, oh just that's him yeah. showing out tonight. He don't want you to talk to him. Yeah. He's he's on it. He's on it. Uh should Carrie come back or are you feeling him a little or what's up? Uh yeah, I was feeling him honestly. Like Yeah. Yeah. I, so I would just tell him like, yeah, you can't buy Instagram, right? What you said? Like, I would just tell him, like, he can have my Instagram, like, to get my Instagram. For sure. Uh, I'm going to put, actually, your IG uh, right here. Let me see. Guys, if you want to go check her IG, it's a bunch of videos. <laughs> go check it. <laughs> and follow and do what you do. Uh, all right. We got uh, Lonzo. Hi, Lonzo. Oh, hello. How you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm good. Yeah, I was just like, like curious. So, you say you're in Dallas, but you're from NYC. Yeah. Okay. So, but you're not looking for nothing long distance. So you want? So they person they gotta come to Dallas. Yeah. For sure. You're not trying to move, huh? Oh, well, I might. That's the thing. Kind of. I'm a like I said. I'm a go for kind of girl. So. Um, I was actually thinking about moving to Atlanta. That was about, okay. but honestly, like long distance. The reason why I said that is because that guy. I don't know how long distance he was talking about. Like, mm -hmm. if it's like a plane ride away, like three hours, like okay. But I just don't. For me, it's like, how long does that go on until like it's time for us to be near each other? You know what okay. I'm saying? Along, I was willing to let that go on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So, like, in, in Dallas, like, when do you got free time? Like, like what do you be doing? Uh, well, I make content. Uh, I'm a barber, so I cut hair. Um, I, like I said, I just finished uh, shooting this, like, short film. So, I've been, I've been going around Dallas doing that. Um, now I'm just like promoting this uh, short film. It's actually called uh, 30 Days of Heartbreak and it's going to be on YouTube June 2nd. So, but oh, okay. yeah, I've just been doing that. And Absolutely. I like going to museums, I like going to the movies, I like finding out like new things to do. And, um, okay. All right, that's cool. Where are you from? Oh, so I'm, I'm from Houston. But uh, I live in California now, though. Live in California. Do you have any kids? Nah. Do you have kids? Yes, I have one daughter. She lying for real. Yeah. Oh wait, how old is she? She's six. <laughs> for real, man. So how come like you not like what happened with, with, with the other dude? He, he gone. Who oh, my her dad? Yeah. Uh yeah. Um, uh, he was um. He's not the best person. He wasn't a kind person. So, okay. You had to get up out of there. Absolutely. Yeah. 
that's why I left New York and came to Dallas. It was just, it was a very, like, abusive situation. So I had to dip out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to do what's best for you. That's yeah. But. Man, well, it's, it, like, I be in Texas sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But, like, Dallas, but, oh, no, it was something you had said. You had said that you don't like to argue too much. But I just wanted to, like, dissect that because you said, like, too much. So that kind of insinuates that you still like to argue, like, a little bit. I mean, debating, arguing. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> you do, you do. It's it's okay. Like, if you like to argue, like, I, you could just I don't it. like to argue about uh, stuff that is not going to reach a point. Like, if mm-hmm. we could just agree to disagree and that's it. And then I can decide whether I want, this is something I want to continue or not and just move on about my day. But, yeah, so... Um, pineapples. You didn't like him? It was boring. It It wasn't like, I don't know, it's kind of very, I feel like nobody's really asking me like really like deep questions. Yeah. Maybe ask the questions that you want to be asked. Yeah, you're right. So then they'll probably be like, what about you? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't know. The chat was talking about he's zesty. I'm like, really? Oh, zesty? Like a little feminine? Yes. A little bit. Oh, you felt that? Okay. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, they said no one is flirting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hey, let's see. Uh, I have Emonte. Emonte. Hey, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Hi. How you doing? I'm good. So, um, my name is Imante. I go by Mike. Okay. My uh, IG premium quality, if you want to check me out. I don't really got no posts or nothing. But, um, yeah, I'm 28. I'm, I'm in uh, Northern Virginia right now. Okay. Just got in the military. Uh, I was in the Marines. was playing basketball. My MOS was uh, supply, so that's what I did. Um, shipping and taking stuff back and forth uh, for people deployed and different things like that. Mm-hmm. But um, that's like, that's me, you know. Big thing about me is I like to hoop. I'm not really like looking for a relationship right now, but. Uh, okay, pineapples. <laughs> Why are you here? He told us his home resume. Right. And then say he's not looking for a relationship, I, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, we, we got more. Uh, I have Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. How are you doing? So what do you like to do for fun? Uh, what do I like to do for fun? Yeah. Uh, pineapples. <laughs> oh. I don't know what Jonathan was on. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> All right, hey, look. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> What's, What's going on, man? I popped in and I was like, what is this shade doing back on the show? Let me hop in here real quick. So wait, so you didn't you didn't seal the deal? Seal the deal. I mean, I didn't get pineapple last time. So we we're gonna do some business with the acting shit. I'm still waiting for you to get back to me so we can do that little skit. <laughs> I know. I've just been super busy trying to finish up and promote this other like thing that I have going on. So, you been um, traveling, traveling here and there. I, I understand it. Yeah. Get to. Get to. I say get to when you get some time, man. Because I want to. That it, it looked fun, man. I mean, re, just by reading it, the skit looked real fun. We got to do that. Yeah. The first skit you sent me was a little. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's all. Like, let me make it a little bit lighthearted, a little bit. Anyway, man, listen, listen, we can do bring back stock. But yeah, besides that, man, listen, we can do business together, content, man. We can date too. So I, I'm with all that. Okay. You know what I'm so like, even with biz, even when it comes to bit, even when it comes to business, huh? Wait, let me ask this shit. This shit, would you date Drew Fasa? Oh, yeah, why um, not? I don't know. I just have to, I would have to like have more conversation. Yeah. I, I feel like I would have to, I'm a very like in person kind of person. So I got to That's, see, why, like, that's why you get me. Get that's me. why with all the traveling you're doing, you got to come to Atlanta, man. Then we can just 
or on a little dinner date. You know what I'm saying? You traveling, man. Just come through Atlanta real quick. I got you. Why are you always talking about somebody sent it? My friend just moved out there, actually. She just got a... No, the chat said no. When she says she's super busy, fellas, that means you don't get her wet and don't try to talk business with women. That's an L. Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm trying to think about it for myself. When I say I'm super busy, does it mean you don't get me wet? Yeah, that's. I'm just busy. That's what that means. <laughs> I might, I might be busy, but also, yeah, I'm not really trying to make time for you either. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. So, but yeah, huh. and talking business with a woman, I don't think that's wrong. Right. I don't think there's anything wrong about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're sucking hell of shit tonight. I know. Let's see. Uh, Slap Dessert is here. He's back. I'm back. I'm back. I appreciate y'all getting me back in here. Mm -hmm. Chat and they, they kicked me out, but I wanted to continue our convo that we were talking before. Mm -hmm. I feel like we were getting into it, but um, yeah, you were talking about your, your date on a, a picnic, right? In London? Mm -hmm. London picnic? Uh, well, it wasn't in London. He was from London. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was in London. Um, yeah, like, it was, it was cool. Um, do you have any kids? I got no kids, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about you? Huh? I said, how about you? Are you looking for kids? Uh, well, I have one, so I already got okay. one. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's what's up. That's dope. But, yeah, I have a kid, and um, I'm still kind of wondering if I, if I want to have another kid. But okay. What makes you wonder? Um, Just uh, when I had my daughter, like, it was very, very traumatic. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to do that one again. But I understand. Well, look, motherhood is a blessing. I feel like from everybody I've talked to, as far as just you know having one kid, that's that's a blessing. A lot of people don't get to experience. So, mm -hmm. like that's real. I feel like also uh, probably if I found the right partner that was like a little bit more supportive, it would be like a lot less stressful. You know. Or do you need that too? As far as like, I feel like. When you got a kid, or at least from some, some people I talked to in the past, it's like I've heard them say you're not dating only the woman; you're dating the child too, and the whole relationship, right? Yeah. Like you gotta be there as a a partner, a provider, not only you know financially but emotionally, all that. Mm -hmm. it's important to really have that vibe that you could feel comfortable with, feel safe with. So I feel like that's very important. Um, but yeah, you gotta come back up to New York. I feel like there's so much to do up here, especially in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was actually just there um, right before Vegas. I was in yeah. for my birthday. Vegas is my second favorite city. I'm, I, I was thinking about moving out there, too. I play poker a lot, so poker is another yeah. one I'm about that I was, I was thinking of getting into out there. Yeah, I didn't get to gamble. That's probably better. You're definitely better off not doing that at all. I recommend, like, if you know how to play poker, that's the only game I really think that you should get into because everything else, it's not oh. skill-based. It's all luck-based, for real. That's so, gonna take your money. Let's see what you're doing. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. I said somebody said the same thing to me. Like one of my clients, uh, he's talking about playing like poker. Like poker is probably one of the best that you can actually like. You know, it actually depends on you, I guess, kind of more so than luck. Exactly, it's the only one. Um, Wait, I have a question for you. Sure. All right. So you, you talked about uh, a kid and how if you date a woman with a kid, you would have to, you know, kind of take care of the kid in a way. How you feel about that? I feel great about that. I feel like it's going to take somebody who's mature emotionally to do that and somebody who's really, like, in it for commitment. It's not just somebody who's, you know, there to mess around. So I feel like it suits well for me because I'm – in a more serious place and I'm sort of in a position where I'm thinking about careers for me. And, uh, you know, it's not for everybody though. Cause I know a lot of people, the second they hear somebody's got a kid or that there's that type of vibe involved, they're thinking, Oh, they run away from it. Cause they're not really with it for commitment and not involved for like, uh, to, to really step up and be on that vibe. But, um, it's not something that really scares me off at all. I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay. That's cool. Okay. What do you, what do you do? What's your career? 
I'm, I'm in law school right now, so I got another year to go there and then hopefully pass the bar and, and be a accredited attorney, you know? So I got a couple grinds. I, I, before law school, I was doing music. And uh, so if anybody trying to quick little self-promotion, slap, slap dizzy if you're trying to get into some jams. Okay. My own, my own music, for sure. Um, but yeah, um, so I, I I used to do some podcasting. I got a lot of like little different hustles that I try. But the law school thing's been take, taking up my time for the last two years, pretty heavy because it's just a lot of reading, grinding, going to class, all that. Like it's it's a huge commitment. Um, but I think I'm definitely ready to to add to that and show that I got um, stuff going on other than just just being in the books all the time. You know, because that could get real tiring for sure. No, I feel that. I feel that. Okay, well, you can definitely have my Instagram. Yeah, of course. No, I'm gonna hit you on that for sure. And uh, we're gonna work something out. Either either I come to come to Texas or, or you come up to New York and we can make something happen. Okay. What's your IG? Uh right here. Shay love me. Shay love me. All right, dope. Well, it was really nice getting to meet you and hopefully I get to know you a little bit more. Okay. Nice yeah. to meet you. All right, cool. Bye. Glad to meet you. Oh, okay. I like him. You like him? Okay. Yeah. Him. Okay, good. You said you don't want uh you only want black people. I know. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, he's cute. That's the only thing that's like kind of mm -hmm. hard. <laughs> but I got more options, so yeah. All right. Let's Wait, see. Fuck? I didn't even ask him. Uh I don't I I, I mean I don't know. It's You'll it's find out. Yeah, I'll find out. All right, let me see. Uh, hello. Oh, what's that? <clears throat> <laughs> let me uh, have you give me my Instagram for they not Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you put it on the screen real quick, man. Right there. But now, now, um, I, what you said, man, before they got me out of here, you was like, maybe they, they see something. Listen, maybe man. they see something in you that us women don't see, and and that uh, there is something wrong with you. Like maybe the the player, the having too many women, or something. I don't know. Maybe we don't see it, but the chat sees it for you, for you, us. You know what it is, Ellie. Mm -mm. I ain't sitting on my car. I ain't flash my car keys. I ain't got no Gucci frame on. I just got honesty on me, and that look good on everybody, don't it? Especially when it's the truth, right? <laughs> That was a script. I, that that wasn't no script. Where that, my didn't get that from? Nah, that's straight from the brain, man. But for real, like, oh. just get on here and they put on the jacket, design the snapback, and they be like, "Hey, you know, I got this company," and just telling all their business. Like, mm -hmm. you a fucking stranger on the internet. Like, what are you doing? Why are you telling <laughs> everybody your social security number and all that? You know. But why I gotta be a player, man? Niggas be hating, bro. Yeah, a little bit. I but think not, you, but, think you look good. I ain't got to ask me a question, though. Okay. So, how old did you say you was again? I'm 27. 27? Okay. okay. And, where, and where are you from? You are know. I'm from Memphis, man. Memphis? <laughs> <laughs> I like the accent. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, like and you said you don't have any kids, do you? No, nah, I ain't got no kids. No kids. So, mm -hmm. the, last, the last person was talking about... Um, how, you know, when you're a dating a woman with a kid, you know, it's kind of like the full package. Like you're, so how are you, how do you feel about that? Like the fact that I have a kid. I ain't got no problem. I just don't want to be looking like no Russell Wilson. And what's wrong with uh, a man that cares about a child that's I'm, not? I'm, it ain't nothing wrong, but she be making that look, it look like a fool sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, damn. Oh. She be making them look kind of crazy. Like sometimes you. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, you say making it look like. Nah, a saying sometimes, like, let's say if you got a girlfriend, it's certain stuff you don't do, cause you'll make her look like a fool. You'll make her look like a duck. You know what I'm saying? So I know I can't go outside wearing certain stuff. I can't be as extroverted because I got a girl. You know what I'm saying? I can't be as creative and all around the place. But with her and Russell, it's like, damn, bro, this man, she just wilding on this nigga, and he just be smiling and shit. I be like, no Wait, fuck. Like, I need an example, because I'm kind of confused. I don't know. Did I miss him? Nah, it's, 
The whole, I ain't judging nobody, but that whole back out shit, I would have let her take the picture by herself because I would have been like, I don't want to be, you know, because they going to be thinking I ain't got no type of spine. Like, you know, they're going to be like, damn. But who's they? Is it men? Because I feel like y'all be doing a lot of stuff for men, but like women. So I'm they do. They do. I know a lot. Men do be doing a lot of stuff. It come off control. Like, they got to have a say-so in everything. Like, it's cool to have boundaries, but it's the difference between having boundaries and controlling the motherfucker. Like, you know, I just want certain stuff that I don't like. Like, hey, I don't like that. Could you not do that? And you be like, all right, I appreciate that. I respect that. I ain't going to do it. But I'm not going to sit up here and tell you to change your whole swag because it's it's different things that you wear. And it's like, I don't like that. That's just insecurity. Rich you know? rich simp. I don't know. I don't, I've never seen him as a simp. I, as a woman, because I would like to think that, like, men who they're trying to impress is women, since mm. that's what they're attracted to. Um, I never saw him as a simp. I saw him as a man that loves his wife. And loves his wife. I don't know. I just never really saw. I never. I didn't. I didn't get the whole. I don't get what a simp is like. Yeah, that simp shit is. It's very. It's very dumb because it's like just because you're not the one getting like loved on. Oh damn! <laughs> Somebody. I think he's talking about. Um, I don't know where they were. If it if it was the Oscars or the Grammy or something, and uh, she was wearing something see through, and they took a picture, and he looked like he didn't want to be there. Okay. And you, <laughs> what you said? I said, was this something I was missing? Because I was so confused. I was like, I don't. I mean, you know, a lot of men do talk about Russell Wilson being a simp or whatever, because. He's taking care of yeah, where she a future son or whatever. And um, also how she dresses and he he let it slide, you know, whatever understanding they have. I don't know. But a lot of people think like it's not it's, it's not OK. That's crazy because like I'm pretty sure Rihanna wore something see through at a award show, too. Like, you know, like I feel like people do. Mm -hmm. A lot more see through. I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe because I didn't see the picture, but I was like, I feel like I don't know. I guess I'm just more of a like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, he's not a simp, but he's a sucker. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. I didn't see like what it looks like. But mm -hmm. did she just have her like nipples out or something, or was it like? No, I think she has something on the nipples, but and but then she has a tongue on, so you could see the her booty cheeks. Oh so, my god! So I don't know, but they, they didn't like that. They felt like it wasn't. Y'all would like girls on Instagram all day like that. Tap tap, double tap, double tap. But they're saying those girls are not wife material, you know. So, but be cheating on them with their wife and throw their whole family away. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess I guess to me it's like I don't know because I'm the type of person. I'm just put it out there. I like to wear what I want. So if I'm feeling a little sexy this day or whatever, I need somebody who doesn't need to make me feel like mm -hmm. I have to cover up myself because of how other people feel. Like at the end of the day, you know that you're the one that takes this off. So like. But they feel like everybody sees what I'm going to get at home I, besides the whole, you know? But I mean, if it was just, if it was her butt cheeks, like, has she not wore, like, a, was she not in the music video that shows some of her ass cheeks? I don't know. You know? They feel, I don't they know. Feel she was inappropriate. I feel, like, I feel like they didn't find anything to pin on Russell about him being, like, a simp because of the whole future thing. And I think that's, that's how it started. With the future, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of guy friends. They're telling me I would never date Sierra after she's dated Future, because it's not a good look. I don't, I don't. Hey, that that's what I've heard. So hey, men have their standards, I, I guess. I guess. All right, let's see. We we got more people. We got uh, Cold Moss. Hello. What's good to shave? Oh, hey. Hey, yeah. Do you remember me? Yeah, I do. 
Yeah, and uh, it's been a minute since I've seen you. How you been? I've been good. I saw that you were out in uh, Vegas recently. How'd that go for you? Uh, it was good. I had a lot of fun. I went to go see um, Trevor Jackson in concert. Who? I feel like Trevor Jackson. I feel like a lot of people. Oh. Don't know that. Yeah, yeah, I know Trevor Jackson for sure. Yeah. Yeah, from Grownish. Yeah, like he he makes a lot of good music, and so I went to go to Vegas to see him perform. The last song I heard from him was like Croc song. Yeah, in my Croc. Yeah, that shit was fire. Yeah, it's fire. Um, yeah, but the shade's been a minute. Last time I saw you, I tried to sign the DMs, but you left me on red. What's up? Did I, leave, did I leave you on red? Sometimes I'm trying to figure out who's who. And it's just, it's a little confusing. But what's your Instagram? Because I don't remember you hitting me up. Um, Ooh. It's right there, cold out Mars. I definitely hit you up. Like I, I, I pulled the message right now. Word. No. Nah. No, not like that. Not like a challenge, damn. <laughs> but no, you probably did, and I'm, I'm sorry, but I definitely like. I'm definitely like we definitely should have a conversation, because I really I really connected with you last time, but it was yeah, not you did. Going red, I promise. I yeah. Just, but I was so confused. I was like, what did I do? Like, uh, oh, you're cool. <laughs> like, what the? No. Um, and wait, where are you from again? Arizona. That's what I was gonna ask you when you come back out here, because Vegas is right there. I live like, I think I'm like four hours from Vegas. Uh, do you live near like the Grand Canyon kind of? No, nah, no, nah, I'm more like in the Phoenix area, so like the middle. Phoenix. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He ready to be a step step dad. Oh man, like, you <laughs> so how do you feel about me having a kid? Oh wow. Wow. Well. They said no. Great song looking like out of here. Uh, okay, well, if he comes back around, we can ask him about um, how he feels about that. I think that should be one of the first questions because it's a lot of men who have issues with that now. Like, so. have, uh, yeah, like little children and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hi, Seven. Hey, what's up, Melly? How you doing today? Hi. <laughs> Hey, to say you like deep questions, so let me ask you this: mm -hmm. What's the most valuable thing you bring to a relationship? Um, um, Got you thinking. I think the thing I bring is uh, security. I think I'm really good at making somebody feel secure in a relationship like you don't have to worry so i'm you said secure so like you were just saying how you feel like russell wilson isn't a simp and what sierra does to him is fine i mean like what has she okay so she wore something she was i don't know if i if uh, i didn't do that she did that so she, hopefully she's gonna come back but tell tell me what what has she done exactly? Because no, we I had this conversation. What has she done exactly that you guys have an issue with? Like I, I get it. Like I don't know. I'm not against the women with kids. Like the girl I'm talking to, she got like four. She got more kids. She got more than four kids. The girl I'm currently talking to, but like the way she treated them, the way she was dressed at that event, like ass out, tits out. Like she was naked with her nigga. And he was standing there smiling, like standing next to her smiling with all them people looking at her. That sexual attention needs to be geared toward me, only me. Like, I feel like that's ultimate disrespect. Mm hmm. Um, and like, I take girls like Lori, her and Lori Harvey. Lori Harvey, she's another one. I just feel like girls that people like future been with, like. But Lori Harvey, time. don't be, she don't be wearing crazy things. Lori Harvey be in and out of everybody's face. Is she? Yes, yes. Like I can't count on all my hands, my feet and toes. Like how many? You know what I mean? Niggas she done been with in the industry. You know what I mean? It's just like but, it's certain shit. Like I feel like. But with her, the issue is maybe. I mean, that's the her circle, kind of. You know, she's a celebrity, so she dates celebrities. I don't know. Is that a part? The pro The is it how many she dates, or is it because they're all celebrities? 
What What's your Melly, issue? When you look at somebody like Lori Harvey and her face, her eyes, that person, there's nothing else. She's dead inside. Like when her and Michael Why B. Jordan you broke up. I, you don't know her. I don't know. I can just tell by looking at a woman in her eyes. Deep in her eyes, that's going to tell you everything you need to know. The gateway to the soul. And when you look at her eyes, like you see, there's like, it's this boy. It's empty space. Wow. Well, I don't know. I don't know her, so I wouldn't be able to tell. But uh, you, you decided. <laughs> I probably shouldn't open this can of worms, but I mean, I see her, like the, the host, or sorry, not the host, the guest you got on. And like, mm -hmm. it's like, she seemed cool because she cut people's hair. And you know, her, a majority of her clients are probably dudes, right? Let's, you know, men get their hair cut more than women. And mm -hmm. like, I feel like she, she talks to men every day. So, you know, she gets their insight on this. And if you ask a man straight up, like, what if you let my girl, would I let my girl come to an event with me like that? They gonna say, hell no. Nah. Oh no, not a No, it's funny because I had made a, a video about it and uh, I had people coming on to to talk about it. And some people were actually fine because they said that's her job. She's a celebrity. She's a star. So when she does red carpet, she might wear some outfits that are a little out there. Some people, some guys oh. were like, I don't care. She can show off and then she comes home with me. That's all that matters. But is she really coming home with you? She's not even there with you. How's she coming home with you and she not there with you? She there with everybody else. What do you mean? She's married to him. Like, she married to, I don't see that, Nelly. If that's my wife, she needs to be as discreet as, as possible in like a fashionable, in a fashionable manner. I ain't saying you got to be like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, covered completely. I mean, we can only see your eyes, but I mean, like, you need to have some respect for me as your husband. Hey, it, it it is what it is. I, I guess he is fine with that. So, no, nah, he a goofy. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. I don't know. But I don't know, man. And damn, the it, the thing got messed up before I could really even try to shoot my shot at Saudi. Wait, uh, I mean, hopefully she's gonna come back. I think it's just uh, her phone might have died or something. So. Damn. Yeah, but Melly, I did want to talk to you at the end of the show, though. You gonna have the little, the little, the little thing? Where you let uh, people I don't talk? know because we started the show kind of late tonight, so I don't know how long we're gonna stay after the show. But maybe. Yes, no. We'll see I how long. Know. I just feel like uh, women, women, it's this goddamn this this toxic equality. Like they talk about toxic masculinity. I feel like women. Women trying to have a cake and eat it too in certain cases. You know what I mean? I feel yeah. like that. And I'm not no misogynist. I love women. I love people. But I feel like women so busy trying to prove a point. This is my body. I can show it how I want. It's like completely disregarding and disrespecting they, you know, who they there for. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Beyonce don't be naked, man. Beyonce, no, nah, man. This is different, man. Um, how is it different? If there's a picture of Beyonce half naked, how is it different than a... Uh, Melly, going, if you go to a photo shoot and you take pictures like that and you modeling, I can almost see that. All right? I can, I can kind of see that. That's, that's what entertainers do, right? They keep the people talking about them to, to increase revenue. Because you ever heard the saying, there's no such thing as bad publicity. You ever mm -hmm. heard of that? Or something to that effect? So that's yeah. different. Lori, not Lori Harvey. Uh, what's the dude's name? Uh, what's the buddy's name? Uh... Russell Wilson hit Sierra. She went to an event, an event, the red carpet. Like all those people saw her like that. You think it would have been that much turmoil if it would have been like a little photo shoot? Them two taking pictures together? Hell nah, man. I mean, Hell what nah, is man. the difference? I, just, I don't see the difference between a photo shoot and a red carpet. Like for the photo shoot, she's going to put the pictures out and everybody is going to see still. When you were the red carpet, you got to think, Melly. People like Future. Future probably was at the red carpet, you know? And he probably could have relived all those experiences. I don't know. I just feel like, bro, probably was over there to the side, like, looking at this goo look at this goofy ass nigga. That's what Future probably was saying. Look at this dumb ass nigga. This nigga, you know. And like, I just feel like, and Russell Wilson smiling with her, like, it's just cool. Like, that is not cool. I will never, ever, ever sit up here and respect that. I'll never sit up here and accept that. And like, I get what women trying to say. This is my body. I can fly it how I want, but I don't fuck with it. Yeah, go on. If, yeah, yeah, I, I got kicked off. Yeah, sorry. 
DA talking about you don't have to worry about Sierra or Lori Harvey coming home to you. You guys got jokes. Stop. Um, well, I don't know. It's a it's a whole debate when it comes to that. Um, I know some men, they're okay with it. I know some, they're not okay. And they'd be like, she's a whore for doing that. So, hey, everybody got their opinion on, on that shit. Uh, where is Deshae? Deshae, come back here. It's probably her phone who di uh, that died. Um, I support the chat. Uh, Maybe be saying D-A. It's not D-A. That's not his name. Let me see. Did she? Oh, she said, yep. Yeah, her phone died. She said she's coming back on right now. Um, Beyonce was naked at the Oscar party. See, I think it's just, it's probably the thing about Sierra and the future thing. And people have always said uh, uh, Russell Wilson is a simp for dating her in the first place and marrying her. So I really think that's what it was. And then the face he made on the red carpet, you guys, people just run with it. But hey. Um, J oh, you guys are out of control. Jay Z be cheating on Beyonce, Russell seem like a faithful man. Maybe I, I don't fucking know what what they be doing. I don't know. Hey girl, I'm so sorry. My phone died. Oh, uh, you're fine. No worries. So, so tell me. So he was talking about the Russell Wilson and Sierra. So you are you want to wear what you want to wear. That's what you said. And if a man tells you you can't wear something, you're gonna be like, "Fuck you! I, I'm doing what I want." Well, like, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm just of, like, how I am. I'm just, like, a free spirit. Like, if I feel like I look good that day and I want to and I wanna feel good about myself and I feel like, you know, I look good, I'm going to put a little pasty. Like, there's times that, like, I've gone out and I've wore little pasties and wore my shirt because I look good and I'm allowed to feel that way. And if you're letting, like, it's just like, to me, it's like, I feel like people kind of, um, they kind of like make something out of nothing based off of ego. Cause like, who is it really bothering? Truly, who is it really hurting? It's not hurting anyone, it's hurting your ego. But I feel like you already have the girl. Like what's, what's- like They don't want people to see all your body. That's what it is. But all the body, but she said that she had, so she had her titties out and her ass. Mm hmm But, like, she had pasties on it? Yeah. But I feel like so many people have worn that and have husbands, and they don't let their, their like, ego, like, create such. And I feel like this actually only happens within the, I feel like, not only happens in, but I feel like it's a lot more common within our community that we like, it's like such a like profound thing to like sexualize, but like a white woman could literally do the same thing and it won't be as mm. crazy because we're used to seeing white women posted up in bikinis and it's almost normalized. Like I could tell you as working in a barbershop, they'll have white women on the board, just bikinis to ask out and kids will be walking in, but people don't look twice at it literally because it's a, it's a white woman. Mm -hmm. But with a black woman, and because of how we are already in our presence, like everything, I feel like black women, we're a lot more powerful in our stance. So when we wear certain things like that, it grabs a little bit more attention. And it's just like, res and people keep saying respect, but respect for who? She's not over here on OnlyFans. She's not over here. Like, she's, that's her body. That's her titties. And that's her ass. And if I feel like it really shouldn't, as a man, like it really shouldn't bother you that much for real. Like, mm -hmm. and then like for people to be like, oh, he looked like he didn't want to be there or whatever. It's like, people don't like, I feel like if he didn't want to be with her, he wouldn't be. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he probably loves the fact that like, yeah, my girl can look like this and guess what? I'm going home and I'm taking it off of her. Like, it's not like, yeah, people can see, but are you really seeing everything? She has pasties and she has a thong on. Like, I go to the beach and my, like, my beach, 
like my swimsuit has a thong in it. Am I now? I can't. I can't wear it because. I mean, the beach is not a red. The, the beach is not a red carpet. It's. Yeah, but I think that's that's what it is. It's more it because it is the red carpet. It's like people want to show out. You know, they're celebrities, and you know, people are gonna one up each other. But like. I don't know. To me, I just maybe it's because I don't pay that much attention to people and I don't let it get so deep into my soul that I mm -hmm. I judge somebody else's character. I feel like that's where it's like it gets a little weird. Like, you OK? Because like that's other people's lives. And then there's you like you don't have to you don't have to be like, oh, I would never marry a girl like that because you probably wouldn't get a girl like that. Let's if you're being quite mm -hmm. honest, it's like the. <laughs> The difference is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? She is Sierra. Yeah. She is somebody that has tremendous amount of, you know, achievements. So it's just like, I don't know. Like, I can feel like I get people's opinions on it mm -hmm. and, like, what they want their woman to there. And that's, and that's fine. And you could have your woman like that. But that's not your type of woman. That's fine. But to, like... I feel like people just let way too much stuff seep into their their roots. Like they let a lot of negative things seep in and they'll judge the next person because of it. And it's just like, I don't judge. Y'all be having four, four different baby mothers. I still don't judge. You know what I'm saying? And this be the, be, this be the ones that be having four different baby mothers. So I'm like, oh my gosh, she needs to respect herself. Like you got four kids with four different women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I look at it. I mean, you know, the, it's always going to be double standards. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, in a minute, but, but I don't mind double standards because I understand as a woman, I cannot do the same as what men do, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's how I see it. As far as, like, what do you mean? As far like, as um, a man fucking 100, uh, 100 girls and me fucking 100 dudes. I know, I feel like it shouldn't be judged the same way. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like either way for me, like 100 people is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. It's a lot. That's it a lot. is a lot, but in general, people are going to look at the women more like she's a whore than the dude. Like, for sure. And I understand it. See, so, and anyways, let's, let's go back to the show. <laughs> Um, let's see. I got Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hey, so question. Yes. Are you are you? looking for like a serious relationship? Like monogamous? Yes. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not what you're looking for. No, nah, I have a girl. I have a girl. Uh, I got a, a chocolate, beautiful woman. Uh, what are you looking for? Pineapples. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear. <laughs> what are you looking for, Brandon? Uh, fun. Fun. With your wife or, or your girl or just one-on-one? -on -one? No, no, no. She, she's here. She's here. No, but would it be for the both of you or just for you? Both of us. Oh. I'm okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Brandon. Thanks. <laughs> Have a good night. You too. Yeah, I should have known. He had a turtleneck on. You saw that? <laughs> so what is that? A turtleneck means you got a, a girl? And I don't know. It was just giving very, like, poetic. Like, oh, I got a girl. Like, we want to have fun. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, Looking for a girl for his wife. Definitely that. Let's see. We got Chibs. Hi, Chibs. Hi, Melly. How you doing? Good. How are you? Hi, Deshay. Hi. How are you? Yeah, my name is Chips. So um, I just have a question for you, Deshay. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever been in a situation whereby your ex-boyfriend or your boyfriend or someone you know once told you something? That um, you're the sugar in his tea, the butter in his bread, any of those words? The flavor, no. the flavor in his drink, the spice in his soup? No. The angel of his eye, heart, or something like that, or apple of his eyes, any of those words that he wants to make up with you right now. Have you ever been in a situation with a friend you know about? Something like that? 
album I have heard before, but it hasn't. A word, that's not specifically like a vocabulary that's been said to me. Pardon? That's not like that hasn't been said to me specifically. Yeah, it doesn't have to. Or someone you know, or something like that. It, I've heard. Yeah, I've heard someone say that. Oh. Because Akon has a song for you. He says right now. He wants to make up right now. That's what I have for you today, girl. Okay. Are oh, you ready, girl? You said no. Okay. Yeah. He wants you to sing for you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to hear the singing or no? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, never mind. Never mind. Um, hear the I singing or no? No. no? Okay. Nah. No. Never mind. She doesn't want to hear that. Never mind. Um, no. Okay. No. Okay. Nah. No. Never mind. She doesn't want to hear that. Never mind. Um, no. Okay. No. Nah. Curtis, we're gonna come right back to you, but turn this shit like off. He where he was. Curtis, turn it off. Back to you, but turn this shit like off. He where he was. Curtis, turn it off. Back to you, but turn this shit off. Like he oh. where he was. Oh, Curtis, turn it off. Okay, am I too loud? Back to you, but Curtis, we hear us. You gotta turn what you're watching off. Um, somebody sent a 20, I don't know, no song tonight. Oh, well, somebody was going to pineapple chips for you regardless. Um, Curtis, 20, I don't know. No, Curtis didn't fix it. Can, can Curtis, fix one? it. It's too loud. Huh? Can I have one on here? Or no? Yes, for sure. Okay, word. You what you do. <laughs> I got uh, another Rick. Rick, you're here? No, you don't want it. Rick, if you're watching the show, you can hit the link in the description. Uh, you can watch it on YouTube. He's been in here for a while and don't want to talk. Um, let's see if Curtis... Okay. Nope, Curtis is not figuring it out. Emmanuel, hello. Hey. Hi. Hey, hey. Let me, let me turn the other thing off so I'm not doing two things at once. I like your hair. See, like that's... Oh, thank you. That, I appreciate okay. that. I, I heard you was a barber. You're a barber? Yeah. 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 So we, I heard that the debate, you guys were pretty pretty adamant about Russell Wilson and um and Sierra like going going heavy. I think I think that's kind of cool cuz uh really I mean can I say my opinion on it? I love opinions. So go ahead. Okay. I I think at the end of the day it's between them two how they want to uh, how they want to do their relationship. Now, me personally, I I do believe that when a woman is like uh, displaying uh, behaviors uh, as if she's single, that she even if she has a man, that she's still keeping her options open. That's what that shows to me on some like level. The 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 in the dressing how she dressed. Well, I, what what I'm saying is like. Um, even if you don't necessarily mean it, you're giving off, you can, you can potentially be giving off the, uh, illusion that you're still available on some level, like that you're not, that you're not fully, fully kept. Now, I don't think like Sierra is going to leave Russell Wilson with all that money right. and all that security at this point in her life. And some people got open relationships and you don't even know what they're doing. So you can't, you don't, right. can't really judge like what, what, what they doing. So I'm not like passionate about either one, but I do know that when like a lot of women, like when they like to have options. And so I'm saying, if you want to have those kind of options, then the dude, you, you need to, that, that needs to go both ways. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, that needs to, I don't know. I feel like I'm also, and then for me, I think it does just depend on the people because I'm also not the type of female to be like, oh, you can't talk to someone or be friends with someone or I'm just, that's just not me to tell somebody how to live their life. Like knowing that yeah. we only have one and like, you know, like it's just a lot, you know, you get older and you know, like, the older you get, the more like you're like, oh, sh shit's getting kind of real now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's just like you really do want people to live their life how they want to live it. 
Yeah. And like without all the illusions of people's opinions, trying to like because it is an illusion. Like how people feel about certain things, it's illusion. It's kind of like not real because people change their feelings and minds every other day. You know. Exactly. So it's just like to base your actions off of what other people feel or think should, I feel like that's a very, it's um very chained, I feel like, in a sense. Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. being free is, is where you can live your life um, mm-hmm. according to your own code, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously we don't live in a bubble, but. Right. Now, yeah. if it hurts somebody, like if you're with somebody and they specifically say like, if he's saying like, "Hey, what you wore hurt me," and she does it again, by all means, yeah. then that's true. Then that's like what. But you don't know what they discussed before she went out, because mm-hmm. if he really felt some type of way about that, I don't think she'd be wearing that on the red carpet. I just, as like seeing Sierra, I just don't see her like doing that to purposely create animosity. Yeah, because I feel like he wouldn't really. Like, yeah, people say he's a simp, but I feel like there's some things, like, he doesn't really go for. People don't be knowing what simp is and what it ain't. Like, you know, it, it's like, it's like, it's like, we, 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 we getting like a kind of a messed up kind of idea of like what masculine and feminine is like, and what, like, uh, what is a simp, you know, what is not a simp. I, I think it's just like people are I want, Millie, I want Millie's opinion on what's a simp. What do you think is a simp? So I don't use to um, I don't use that term, but people okay. told me it's a man who does things for a woman with nothing when he gets nothing in return. Hmm. Oh, so a sucker. Okay. That that's okay. what you say, but okay. I uh. I don't know about that. That's like <laughs> wait, gets in return of like what, like nothing. Uh, like he's just like oh, it's not about anything, not just pussy, but like attention. She doesn't reciprocate uh, compliments, like nothing. You're just doing that in vain. Like she don't like you, pretty much. Oh, okay. Doing all of this, and you're not gonna get nothing out of it. Mm, okay. They, they said that one dude from the Warriors was a simp because he gave Ice Spice like a million dollar whatever, and it's not his girl. Y'all remember that? I, I that's don't. that's kind of crazy. <laughs> A million dollars. Okay, well, if you got a million dollars shopping spree or something like that, but you know, I don't know. Yeah. But let me ask you a question, uh, Deshay. Um, what's your stance? Is like, what, what, what are you, what are you passionate about? I know you do hair. Um, is that are you an entrepreneur in in general? Or are you just doing this for the meantime, or what? I'm kind of just doing this for the meantime. My passion is really like film and okay. acting and content i love visuals like like that's just something that like i'm very passionate about is visuals and um just film i really grew to like film i I did the short film that i was doing and so um yeah that's kind of like where i'm at right now uh i just want to keep creating okay okay keep creating okay so you got any questions for me any thoughts any things that you would Oh yeah, like how how old are you? Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Yeah. You're thirty eight. Yeah. Do I look younger? I look thirty eight. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that's that. That's crazy. Yeah. Um. Do you have any kids? I do. Yeah. I got uh my little ones is in there. I got two kids, so I got a little boy. He's seven, and a little girl. She's four. Okay. Yeah. All right. And is it with the same mom? Yeah, I was married for a while, like eleven oh. years. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um. So, like, what do you do? Well, I got a nine to five. My job, I'm a employment specialist. My business is a people skills coach. So, I like, I'm a people skills coach for professionals of color. So, I work with um, folks to help them to like promote in their companies um, through something <laughs> called emo- uh, cultural emotional intelligence. So, I'm really big on. Uh, understanding who you are as a melanated person and using that as a foundation from which to like connect with people and from which to negotiate whether that's salary, communicate all these different things, all these different points of emotional intelligence. So, okay, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But yeah, you can um, you can have my Instagram. 
Okay. Are you go, still, are, wait, are, are you, you are, are you gonna answer? You gonna answer though? Because I heard that the dude before he said that you kind of ghosted him for like months. So if I if I if I IG you, are you gonna respond to the to the joint, or are you just gonna? No, I I am gonna respond. It was just there was a lot going on, and so uh -huh. I had got like a lot of like messages from the show, so it kind of got like lost in the sauce a little bit. Okay. But um, yeah, are you still married? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Sorry, I'm someone asked in the next side. Nah, right. not at all. Not at all. Okay, but yeah, you could uh, definitely get my Instagram. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. Did yeah. you like him? Yeah, he was nice. Okay, cool. So we we got two so far. Yeah, I, I mean, no one and two. Okay, we got him. We got uh, you told Marseille to come to your DMs or no? Uh, the the guy from Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rick. Rick, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think you had somebody else. Oh, and uh, slap. Um, slap. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got four. Okay. I just want someone that's like, wow, is like my eye. Mm -hmm. I, I talked to you about this before. Like, I'm really about the like physical attraction too. Okay. Hey, where? Let me see. I'm trying to see if in the people on deck, if we have. Wait. Do you want to finish talking to seven? Uh, seven is the one who was saying he don't like his girl uh, showing his body. Um, yeah, we can finish talking to him. Yeah, okay. Seven. Well. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? You got cut off abruptly. I'm just say, I ain't here to argue with you. Like, you a Pisces, you know, I don't really do Zodiac. Y'all the end of the, the Zodiac sign. I'm an Aries. I'm the beginning of it. I just feel like oh, what you just said, they're contradicting. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, my birthday actually in an hour tomorrow oh well happy birthday yeah i appreciate it i just feel like you know you said a man's ego would get hurt so if you my woman and you hurt my ego aren't you disrespecting me and then you uh, said earlier remember that was a big thing that you would bring to a relationship you see what just happened secure, but i'm not here to secure something that is merely based off of your like illusion because that's that's what it is ego it's like that's something that you like the whole ego part of it is you don't want anyone else to see your woman in a certain way that you see your woman precisely exactly you're exactly right you don't know how people are perceiving her so that's why it's like a it's like a mental thing like i feel like that's okay I'm so not, let me ask i'm not I, when i mean by security i mean like secure in the relationship i'm not here to make you secure in yourself do you get what i'm saying like i'm here to make you secure in the relationship not securing yourself all so this if, that if, if i if, if we out and i'm all in another girl face and you don't feel secure in me in our relationship what we got going on no more because i'm in that other girl face is that respectable to you i mean what do you mean by in her face like if i'm in her face like she, how, how she touching up the on red carpet I doubt, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not into, like, I feel like, and this is what I mean, but I feel like a lot of people get deep in their emotions in it and, like, swirl it around. I What I'm saying is, like, for me, what I was thinking about was, like, you don't know what people have going on between them. So, like, I can't sit here and judge somebody or think what she's doing is wrong when I don't know how their relationship is, right? Because we all don't know how their relationship is, right? Because they're celebrities. Like, they're their own people. Like, we don't talk to these people every day. So we don't know what they agree on or what they don't agree on in their relationship. So for me to sit there and, like, have a pre-notion of how she should be in her relationship between her and somebody else is almost, like, a psych thing. Like, I... Okay. So when you cut out, I talked to Melly about this. You cut hair, right? You cut, yeah. You probably got a lot more male clients than female clients, correct? Yeah. So if you brought this conversation up to them, like, how do you think they would react? A lot, a lot of them are married and probably wouldn't care because they're married. Like, that's what, there's a lot of, like, and I feel like a lot of Southern men are different. But like I said, I can't tell people 
how they would react in their relationship to certain things. Like, if that's what they agreed on, that's what they agreed on. And for me to be like, oh, he's a simp, or to, like, judge his character or to judge her character is actually kind of crazy, given I don't know this person or the person they're in a relationship. It's actually kind of a little crazy to sit there and have that much of a, like, you can have your opinion on it. Like, if that's not something that you want to do, that is totally fine, and that is your prerogative, and that's your opinion. That's what you're allowed to do. You know why? Because it's your life. Just like somebody can't force you to want to be with a woman who wants to show off her body, you cannot force somebody to tell them what to do with their body. It's like, you can have your opinions on it, but, like, do you think you can call Sierra? Like, you're the face you made. You think you can call her and let her know she can't wear that? No. Exactly. So it's like, at the end of the day, like, you are totally alive. That's not what you want to do. That is not what you have to do. That is your stance, and that's what you believe, and you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to have that opinion. But to, like, for me, I'm just not a type of person that's going to judge somebody off of something I have no idea about. To me, that's just... Deshae, crazy. okay, so let's stop talking about celebrities then. Yeah. What about if you guys date... And mm-hmm. you you say you wear pasties and stuff sometimes. So that's the day you want to wear pasties. And he tells you, yo, I'm not comfortable with that. How you feel? What do you do? Well, then that's a discussion that we're going to have. Because like I said, if for what I was talking about before, like if somebody expresses that that's their dislike, then obviously you have to talk about that within your relationship. But how you... Like how you met me. So you, it's like, you willing to? You willing to? You, you look. I, you said you don't like to argue, but you are willing to debate. So you saying you willing to say, you know, fuck what my dude talking about. I'm gonna do this my way. That's not what I said. I said that's something you have to talk about. I didn't say fuck what you said. I said that's something you have to talk about. But no yeah, doubt. okay. I mean, so like, I guess we gotta agree you, to this. I mean, like that's why everybody's not for everybody. Like I don't know what to say. Like. That's mm-hmm. why some people are for some people, you know, like that's just what it is. But I'm not saying I walk out of here wearing pasties every day, but if I'm going to a certain event and I like the dress that I'm wearing and it has a little bit of see-through and I have to put a pasty on, like, so fucking be it. Like, I'm allowed to do that because I bleed just like you bleed. I'm going to die just like you got to die. Like, why the fuck do I have to live my life differently just because it, it hurts because your, I'm your other half. For a, a pace why. for a night. Like, to me, that's like... That's what this relationship is, right? It's compromise. We but compromise that's why, one another. That's why, like, I say everybody's for a certain person. So that's what I'm okay. saying. The way that your stance is. And then it probably show up, like, when you talk to somebody, too. And I'm not saying I'm walking. I feel like people are getting the idea that I'm walking around with pasties, but I'm not going to fucking like, like, I just, I feel like people want me to be like, yeah, he's a simp or yeah, she's a whore or something like that. Like, and I'm just not interested in judging people based off of what they got going on in their life. Like, I'm not saying I've ever sat here and like, I've wore a pasty for two because like, say if I have a white shirt that ties like this and I feel like it's a little see-through and my nipples are see-through and I put pasties on them. So it doesn't look see-through. Okay, and we're going to agree to disagree yeah. and uh, yeah. it's, it's a pineapple, I guess. Cause yeah. it's not going to work. Yeah. And he said, when you left, he said he had a girl anyways. <laughs> and, but like, and to judge somebody, but you have a whole girl on the show. Like, Hey, maybe they have an agreement that we don't know about, like yeah. you were saying. See, uh, I can't judge them. Let's see, let's see. Uh, that we don't know about. No, Curtis still didn't fucking check his shit. Uh, Troy, hey, Troy. Yo, Melly, what's good? Nothing much, how are you? I'm chilling, I see you got a big show tonight. It got a little yeah. crazy. It got a little crazy. I don't know, it's not crazy. Hey, got crazy. Is that crazy? What's up, um, what's up, lady? How you feeling today? I'm sorry, say again. I said, what's up? How you feeling today? I'm feeling great. All right, um, I'm gonna just do a little intermission, so I apologize in advance. But 
last time when I came to the show, so I own a trucking company. And there was a lot of people in the comments talking crazy, saying that I'm a truck driver and all this other stuff. So I'm just a, I'm just a very transparent dude. These are all titles. I own all my trucks. Every single one of my trucks. Sir, you came to talk to her or to show that you own trucks? I, was like, nah, nah, I came. I came to just. I came to just drag Why my. Why do you care truck. about what the chat is saying? Talking because about that, the chat Why is important. Care? The chat is very important. That's the reason why this should be born. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. That's what I talk about. Like insecure ego. That's the ego. Oh, they hurt. He hurt my ego. So let me sit here and get up here and show everybody my time. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> he was so hurt i don't remember him from last time honestly it might not be with you it might be another show oh okay yeah Damn. What's the pro i don't i didn't think being a truck driver was a problem so. i know I, I thought they make like they but you want to say that he owns he owns the trucks i think uh -huh. that's what, still a truck driver <laughs> if you're driving them right I, I, don't, I don't know. He's an owner and driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> hey, shit, you drive, you own. Good for you. Yeah, right. Good for you. We love it. We love to see it. Yeah. Tobias, hello. Tobias, I like that name. Your mic is off. What's hey. good to say? Hi, how are you? I'm good, just chilling. So I've been watching for a little bit just to pick up. So you're a barber stylist. So my question to you is what role models do you have or who are the people that inspire you? Uh, well, my mom, she definitely inspires me. That's my first person. Um, who else? Any celebrities or something? Um, Eartha Kitt. I love Eartha Kitt. Okay. Probably, I don't know who that is, but Eartha Kitt. Um, who else? Yeah, I mean, you ain't got to have a ton. I don't have that yeah, many. This, those, those are my top two. Got you. For me, what are, your, I, what, are your, what, what are your role models? I'd say for me, it's definitely, um, I'm a huge Vince Carter fan, really in basketball. Okay. So, I really like Vince Carter. My dad's definitely a role model for me. That's good. Yeah. But that's cool. But just for, for a little bit about me, I actually live in Dallas as well. And okay. Yeah, I'm 25. No kids. Okay. Yeah. You said you were from New York, right? Yeah, I'm from New York. Okay. I've never been out there. But the plan was, I don't really be traveling a lot just because I just started my job. But... Um, I definitely want to be on that travel too. Like, not really trying to plan a vacation, but just anything that's last. Me. Vince Carter is the goat. I don't know what he's talking about. He said Vince Carter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thought she was 50. That's funny. Yeah. But pineapples. All right. All right. No. Oh. It was like, yeah, uh, not like it's like the, I don't know. Yeah, you guys, when you come on, you gotta ignore the chat. The chat's gonna talk and take you off your game. Yeah, they do. They, they almost took me off my game. Talking about she's a headache. I was like, God damn, sorry. Yeah, yeah. your comment. They liked you from that comment. You lost all the cool points. They were like, no, nah, she don't respect her man. I don't she have the respect, so. I guess you can say what you want about that too. But, oh, oh Jesus Christ. My time. Hey, Melly. Hey, Deshay. How are you guys doing tonight? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Lovely day. I was kind of curious. I'm kind of late to the show. So, Ms. Deshay, what are you looking for in a partner? Um, I'm just looking for somebody who's fun, somebody who can, I could create memories with, honestly. Somebody who's just kind of like not so like. I don't know, more to kind of like focus on their goal, you know, kind of thing. Like, that's what I'm looking for. Pretty fun. Really? I don't know why they were saying you're unreasonable in the chat, though. That sounds pretty reasonable. 
That was unreasonable because of something that they was talking about before. <laughs> well, I wasn't here for that. Don't worry about that. Okay, then if you're looking for things like that, what do you provide to somebody who happened to have those kind of things, you know? Uh, I think I'm really kind and sweet and um, I'm really loving and I'm supportive too. Like, and I'm not a, I'm not a person that really gives up. So like, if there's something that needs to be talked about, or worked on, like it'll be worked through. That's just how I am. Really? So you won't run away from conflict if you end up in a fight or something like that? If you disagree on something? I'm sorry, say it one more time. I said, so you're not going to run away or anything like that if we get into a little fight, right? No. Is a fighter? I... Rather die? Yeah, I mean, like, you might be sleeping on the couch, but for that night, but. Okay. Just have another bedroom then. Make yeah. it easy. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Um, I'm kind of curious. I heard your hairstylist and all. Um, mm -hmm. What is something nobody knows right now about you that you're willing to share? Nobody knows about me. Nobody, just me and you. Something you can tell me. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh... I don't tell nobody. I keep secrets. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. Actually, I have like nine siblings. Hey. Yeah, I'm one of nine. Wow, I'm on mind read right now. Caribbean parents, maybe. No. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> really? Yeah, no. What? My parents, my granddaddy had 12, so I'm like, hmm, Caribbean, maybe. Uh, no, no, not Caribbean. Um, it's like kind of split. Like my um, my dad, he has seven kids, and he had like three baby mothers. One of his baby mothers was my mom. Can be my sister. They yeah. went together. No, my dad was married when he had me, my sister. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't know. I feel like, like I said, I'm a pretty chill person. Like life, like I can't. I don't know. I can't like go into the streets and be like, "Oh, you shouldn't have done this or you shouldn't have done that," because like literally that's the reason why I'm here. But, <laughs> um. I don't know, like sometimes like it gets a little weird as far as like with the siblings and stuff like that. But I don't feel no type of way about it. Like we all have like come together and like we're like family. That's my sibling, so it doesn't make Okay. All love, love all around. Yeah. That's good. Any question you'd have for me? Somebody who might just, you know, suit your interests? Uh how old are you? Okay. Um, let me turn back that to you. How old are you? I'm 26. Um, 24. In April 28th. So like two years behind. Is that a deal? Breaker? Shouldn't be, right? Age is nothing but a number. Yeah. You, you sure you're only 24? Yeah. The beard. Okay. I got the beard to full. Okay. Before, I was just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're a little older. I'm a little younger. I can show you a thing or two. You can show me a thing or two. You know. Okay. You can make it work. <laughs> okay. Because um, I'm pretty sure you travel around the world, right? Maybe. I feel like you travel around the world. No, I've only been out the country one time. I've been to Peru. Peru? Yeah. Oh, I clicked on the wrong Instagram then. Because I saw there was a movie being made. Is that you or no? Huh? I saw there was a movie being made. Is that you or no? You're a pro um, producer of a movie or something like that. Uh, was I wrong on that one? Uh, no, it's a co director. I co director. Co -director. Yeah. Okay. How's that going? By the way, I see it's gonna be out. Um, you can you mind promoting that a little bit? That way, people can you know catch up with it. It seems interesting. <laughs> well, it's actually uh my friend, uh, my friend Deshara. She wrote the play. Uh, not the play. She wrote the movie, and um, I co-directed it. And big um, ups to her. Yeah. So this is a real raw like like breakup. Thirty days of her breakup that she went through after. And so we shot, some of it was shot in LA, some of it was shot in Dallas. And so, yeah, it's called 30 Days of Heartbreak. comes out June 2nd. June so, 2nd, I'm going to keep it in mind. I'm going to keep it in mind. Yeah, you should go check it out. All right. Definitely. Now, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go soon, but what state are you in? I'm curious about that one. That way, you know. Say again? What state are you in? Uh, I'm in Texas. Oh, Lordy Lord. You're close. You're close. I'm in Florida. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, we can meet in the middle in Louisiana for a good time. Okay. Well, um, pineapples. Ah, thank you. <laughs> he said, oh, man. Yo, I saw the wildest comment, and I can't. I what, can't. what did he say? He said, I, I can teach you a, a thing <laughs> or two. <laughs> two. Oh. That's crazy. Wow. I guess one of his two <laughs> I can't. They oh my look. god. I, was like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Yo, these, <laughs> these comments are wild. One thing or two. <laughs> I'm done. All right, let me see. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you get, the chat ain't shit for talking about people's yeah. appearance. <laughs> That's crazy. The chat is <laughs> out of control. All right, let's see. Um, we got, we got, uh, who we got that we didn't talk to? Jones. Hi, Jones. Oh, it's Slim Pickett tonight. Okay, what's up with Shorty? Here, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, the chat I gotta shit. put I gotta put the TV on mute. There you go. All right, I got you. I got you. What's up? Come on, that's hell crazy. Hold up, hold up. TV not trying to go on mute. All right, hold up, hold up. All right, there you go. I got it, got it. How you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Don't mind my not haircut. I I go to work. I come home and shit. I just be chilling. I got an app I'm trying to do, so I ain't worried about grooming. I'm one of them old school niggas. I don't need to look good. I be doing my thing. You look beautiful tonight, though. How you doing? Thank you. I'm good. All right, all right. I mean, I've seen it's been a long night, you feel me? These conversations ain't really been that interesting. A lot of your little conversation ain't really been that good. But we gonna shake that up, you feel me? How old are you? Huh? How old are you? I'm 26. How old oh, are you? Oh, you're 26. I'm 28, you feel me? I look a good 21, though. Don't worry about it. We all right here. You okay. feel me? What state you live in? Texas. You live out there for the no tax, or you live out there because you seen everybody move out there and you was fucking with it? Uh, I moved out here four years ago, so I've been out here... A little bit. Okay, okay, okay. You said you got a kid? I know I look young, huh? All right, my fault. Yeah, you said you got a kid, right? A daughter? Yeah. How old is she? She's six. Oh, okay, okay. She's in that good little developmental area. You feel me? What's that, like third grade, second grade? That's first. Okay, okay. How you feel being a mom to a young kid, though? I mean, it's cool. I love it. What? But, like, when I'm saying that, my fault, I want to just make sure I get you to understand where I'm coming from, like, what is that teaching you about the world and about life and about like responsibility and shit? Uh, it's teaching me uh, patience, definitely patience. Um, teaching me like uh, it helps me further my I feel like my emotional intelligence as far as being delicate and sometimes I feel like I could be kind of like, but when it comes to her, I'm just like you know I'm a little bit more. It's it's teaching me. It's like you know, kind of smoothing out my little edge areas. So, I mean, okay. I think those are all good things. I think if I'm going to be honest with you, those are kind of basic. And I mean, I wanted to touch on some of like, I'm I'm not a father yet. You feel me? I, I work really hard not to have a kid because I really don't think I'm ready for that. I really don't want the responsibility of that. And as a man, like if I'm going to speak honest, I don't see like a woman that I mean, disrespect me. I'm 28, baby. I ain't got to lie to nobody. But as a, as a man, though, like, I really don't see a lot of women that I feel like I want to have a, a kid with because sometimes women use the child to teach them. But I feel like as, a, as an adult, you should be able to teach your child. And so if you have nothing to teach your child, you bringing in a child, wasting your time and wasting your effort and energy. So I feel like when I say what has having a child taught you, I don't mean as far as what does it teach you about how to handle yourself. I mean, like, as far as introspection and depth into life and your understanding and recognition because again i mess with a lot of women so I tend to have kids yeah 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 okay <laughs> what sorry jones uh oh my gosh the chat said no yeah you cool okay. but personal okay. trainer and massage therapist uh james you gotta pull up if you want to talk um he talks hella fast he talks he was so i was like trying to catch y'all he talks fast. Okay, James. Uh, Jones. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. We have some couple of people who came back. 
Cole Moss. Hello. What's up, guys? He didn't Hi. talk to us. I think y'all were just listening slow. It, really? You think no, so? I'm just, I'm just <laughs> yeah, because I was like, he was talking hell fast. <clears throat> and I'm from here. Um, so he's talking mad fast. Yeah. Deshay, I came back with some interesting questions, okay? I feel like nobody's really asked you anything cool. So Thank let me know you. what you think about these. <clears throat> so my first question is, do you feel like like how you look right now and how you are on social media, do you feel like girls like you are the reason why guys feel like guys aren't dating like normal looking girls nowadays or trying to go for like the most top tier girls? You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm so sorry. Can you <laughs> restate that question? So you know how like you, you look a certain way on social media and in yeah. person you're good looking as well. But do you feel like girls like you are the reason why guys won't settle for like normal looking girls? What's a normal looking girl? Like, I don't know, because like what I'm trying to say is basically like like I'm on my phone, I see you on IG and I'm like, oh she's fine as hell. And she's like real. Like I can see this girl in real life. So why would I settle for the girl who's like a five when I could try to find a girl like like this as a ten? You know what I mean? But see, I might be somebody's five. Um, okay. I mean, that's, that's debatable, but like, you see I might be somebody's it? five. I might not be the most attractive person to somebody else. And that five could be somebody's ten. So it's just like, I is literally in the, in the beholder because like, there's some people that I have like, dated or whatever, talked to that some people are like, you know what I'm saying? But that's who I find attractive. That's who I like. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I feel like it's, everything is very much perspective. But so you feel like social media hasn't really like skewed dating or like people's perception of women? I feel like it's made a lot of women look the same. The same? Like, as far as like, uh, I feel like this, there's a, there's a trend there's a trend that comes with certain aesthetics, like as far as big lips, um, hand skin, you know, big chest, small waist, big butt. But it's just like, but that's not everybody, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this. I feel like also Instagram is a place now where they they um, scope it to your to what you choose to watch, right? Yeah, for sure. 100%. Yeah, so, like, if what you're, like, looking at is top-tier girls, and that's your that's what sculpted to you, that's what's going to be sculpted to you. But I feel like that's because a lot of people are looking for something, like, a lot of guys, um, since we're on the topic of males, like, I feel like a lot of guys are looking for something a little bit more out of their reach. But and don't you feel like you contribute that to that? Like, huh? You contribute to that, don't you think so? I don't know. I've never felt like I was out of someone's, like, reach, I guess. I just feel like I'm type of, hey, how you doing? Like, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not type to, I don't know. I just don't see myself as, like, out of reach. But, I don't know. I feel like it's the opposite. Because you're on this, this show where all these guys trying to talk to you and can't nobody, can't nobody meet you, though, like. It's just because I'd be on the move. It's literally not because of anybody else. It's just because, like, I love what I do. And so, like, I'm just, like, constantly on the move. And for me, it's like somebody has to kind of, like, almost, like, keep up with me a little bit. And it's it's unfortunate to say, but eventually, like, I catch I catch on. But honestly, I didn't know what to expect after the first show. That was my first show. <clears throat> so I got, like, flooded with a bunch of, like, messages and some just got lost so i didn't know who was who or like and it was just kind of crazy but yeah sorry that's my answer okay um okay one more question too then so i feel like like girls usually want a guy who's like above them like in all aspects like financially social all that stuff so let's say you end up meeting a guy who's like a, a pro athlete or just like a, a highly established person. Would you be okay with them like doing their own thing, even when you're like in a relationship with them, like going out, whatever, doing whatever they want to do? Is that something you could tolerate, knowing that their lifestyle is like way up there? I guess. Um, 
I feel like, yeah. And the only reason why I say that is because I've seen it. I've seen, like, they're, like it's all about who, you, it, like, you got to know who you're with. You got to know if they have self-control or not because there's there's times where, like, I've seen it. Like, I'm not going to, like, name drop anybody, but I was in a party with a very high-profile basketball player, and mm-hmm. he's married, and he did not touch or talk to one girl and but still managed to, like, you know, hype up the crowd, have fun with everybody, like, really cool guy. And people do that, you know, and they're able to do that. And there was no phones allowed in that place. So there there are people who are able to have self-control just because, you know, they are, like, um, a celebrity or whatever doesn't mean that they can't or they have, like, their high profile or they're very well-known doesn't mean that they can't have uh, self-control. I feel like it's just about knowing the person that you're with. And I'm not interested in telling a a person where they can and cannot go. And if you go somewhere that if I've already established to you what hurts my feelings and what doesn't, like I said, I'm really not a person that likes to argue. If you do that, then you was never mine to begin with, and that's fine. And so we'll leave you where you're at, and then I'll move forward. You would say, like, you're pretty much not willing to, like, put up with a person's disrespect, even though you know, like, He's like a top one percent earner of the world. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it. Cause I, I'll like I'll be happy with the guy that makes me feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's not top one percent. Like, what is that? What does that mean? Like every, I, I'm my view of things is like probably very different from many people. But I don't I don't care about what you have. I care about what you can give me. So okay. a lot of people can have things, but can't really give you things. You know what I'm saying? That's a great answer. That's a great answer. I I, I kind of got one more too, though. Thinking about it, kind of got one more. So back to the whole like you having a kid thing. Do you feel like? I don't know, you say it like, like uh, do you feel like that's limited your your dating pool at all? Having to having a kid in general. Oh, for sure. But like, sure. how so? Like uh. There's just certain like certain things like um like people like certain like men and stuff like that that you know I don't know like I was saying before not everybody's not for everybody you know so if you that doesn't mean you're necessarily a bad person you're just not for every like you know people just don't match up but like if a, a certain guy lives a certain lifestyle that I can't particularly have around my child, like I can't talk to you. Like, and that's just what it is for me. Like, or they do certain stuff, like they like to be out partying, or even like just the fact that I'm so like engulfed in my child that like people would be like, oh, why are you like you're so busy and all this stuff? And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I work the entire week and then my two days off I go and have lunch with my daughter at school and then we go and do stuff after you know what I'm saying so it's just like I'm very much it a lot of it's impacted but like you know it's just like some people don't like how busy I am or how much how little time or little window that they have that I could give them and so I yeah. decide to incorporate them into my life a little bit more but that's kind of how it's Ended my dating pool. Okay, well, yeah, those were all my questions, really. I guess, do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah, so how do you feel about talking to someone that has a child? Like, what's your view on that? Talking to someone with a child? Yeah. Um, I feel like nowadays, as I, as I'm getting older, I feel like it's a really common thing now. So yeah. I'm not, like, 100% against it, but... Me, typically, I try to avoid it, to be honest, just because I feel like it's, like, hard to to have a woman accept you when they have a kid. You know, I feel like a lot of times they're really picky and they just don't talk to anyone. So I feel like don't even deal with that headache. You can just find a girl who doesn't have a kid. But um, I'm personally not against it, honestly. It just kind of depends on where that person's at in their life and how open they are to wanting to talk to me, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's just me personally, though. I feel like, I don't know, like you said, like, I feel like 
my perspective is like girls with kids, they usually have a harder time because of that. Like people don't want to talk to them because they have a kid. But me, I just depends on how the person is really. Yeah. I've never really, honestly, I've never really had somebody be like, oh, I can't talk to you because you kid. I can honestly say that's never happened to me. I feel like it's always them feeling like I haven't made enough time for them. Mm, okay. Dang. So, I thought that would that, be like your that's biggest issue. What I have with it. Not so much that they don't want to talk to me. It's that they can't talk to me as much as they want to because I have a kid. So it kind of becomes like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. yeah, that's all the questions I got. Um, I sent you a DM, so hopefully we'll talk soon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you like him? Yeah, I do like him. I need to answer him back. <laughs> okay, good. Um, okay, we'll do a couple more and I let you go. Okay. Let's see if Curly's figured it out. So you like him? No, he still didn't figure it out. <laughs> uh, Andre, you're here? No? Okay. Jay, you're here? No? Did you first say hello? You back? Yeah, I'm back. Hi. Hey, what's up? I said, what, what's up again? The show. What's up? Um, yeah, man. Y'all talking about the scent thing, man. I ain't about to stay on that for a long time. But it was what Melly said. The scent way, the way I see it, is a chick that's using you. But it, a chick is a chick that's using you, and you're not getting nothing in return. Even if you do want some return, you're not getting. It. That's a to me. Mm -hmm. Um, because these other people in the comments and shit, if we give a chick a compliment, they think you a simple off that shit. I'm like, bro, well, I can't say a girl pretty or some shit. Yeah, you know, I feel like, like stuff that. like that is just like Yeah, like you. I'm like, man, the shade bad than a motherfucker, and they blow he simp. I'm like, what the fuck? But, yeah. yeah, I never I never really I never really sat there and like thought anybody was a simp. And I've probably have some people in my DMs that are extremely persistent, but <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a judgy person. I'm just not a person that tells people what I think they like are based off of like, I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, a non-judgmental person. And that's good character right there. Cause I'm, I'm not a judgmental people. I don't judge people. Anyway, I do, Um, I got a question for you though, man. Usually man, when she's having a little sexy full lips like you got and shit, okay. I always feel some toxic behind it. What's the most toxic thing you've done? Or what's the most toxic thing that you think is toxic? Like, what's up? The most toxic thing I've yeah, done. That, that yeah, you done. Toxic. Or something that you think is toxic. It might be toxic, somebody, but you, you think it's toxic. Something that you've done. Something I've done. Yeah, that you think is toxic. Um, yeah. When my younger days, this was yeah. definitely, definitely not. I would never do this again. Mm-hmm. I got something too. No, go ahead. But there was one time where uh, I was with this with this man. I'm not gonna say who this, but I was with this man, and they kind of like so we weren't together. Like I was with him, then we weren't together. But the girl he was with after was like kind of like stalking me a little bit. Like she made up a fake profile on Instagram and asked me if I was still talking to this man or whatever. And he happened to be like somebody I had talked to or dated for a long time. And yeah. she like, he said something, um, it's gonna sound really crazy. He said something, he said something really that pissed me off. Like she was asking him like, oh, am I top three? Am I better than Dashe? And I was just like, who the fuck asks somebody if they're better than better. So, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah it was extremely insecure and it wasn't her it wasn't her asking that pissed me off it was his answering he said something about like oh like trying to make her feel better like oh there was a point where she had to like keep asking me to like lay down with me because I wasn't interested anymore which was absolutely not true mm -hmm. so, when it came back around and he wanted to have a conversation with me I recorded it <laughs> I recorded it to let her know like what it was 
So you know you're not recording nothing. You ain't doing a recording today. Huh, no. Yeah, there's people still that, be doing that shit. No, that that right there just pissed me off because I feel like he was lying on my like sex. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Like you you've been wanting me and you let's let's keep it a buck. And so I sent it to her and I broke her heart, but I didn't mean to. But it was just because I didn't like how he said it. Like, don't be listening to what he's saying. Like, yeah. Well, I got something, man. It's back in my back in my younger days too. I was um, messing with a chick on a job while her man was at the job too. And my homeboy, he was always he was always saying, he like, bro, man, what the fuck you doing?" Wait, he y'all like, together? All three of y'all? Yeah, we we all worked at the same job. It was her and hit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. She had a boyfriend, but she was messing with me. We was talking to each other. And my homeboy was like, hey, man, why you, why y'all connecting this shit? You know her man here, right? I'm like, I don't give a fuck, man. She's like, she, she on me. I'm going to try to do what I can. And, and he's like, man, ain't you cool with that guy? I'm like, not really. So, but he, but her boyfriend be in my face and just talking and shit about sports and shit like that. And I'm like, damn, I'm fucking with this girl. I'm fucking with this girl. This shit was toxic as hell. We, we smashed and all that, too. It was just, this one, I was 23. Hold on. I won't do no shit like this again. Okay. You know, like 23, man. I'm 34 now, man. I grew up. But that shit right there, it was um, it was dangerous too. Cause I felt he was kind of catching on to something. I don't know. I feel like her boyfriend's catching on some shit. No. No, this is scene he telling. Anyway, man. Like, I ain't gonna be here too much. But you I, I saw it your last couple guys you was talking to. You said you think about moving to Atlanta. Like Yeah, I was actually thinking about moving to Atlanta. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of attractions down here. A lot of new attractions down here. They got some shit called like a punch bowl. It's like a three, three four arcade in a bar. And they got something else called beat the bomb. It's like a big obstacle course for the friends. I mean, that's a whole bunch of shit. Okay. Besides all that, shit, I'm down here too, man. I'm another attraction, man. Shit, I'm down here. So then, you know, me and you, man, we, you know, we can get some popping. But content, content first, man. Content. Work. Content, content, dating, all that shit. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you in your DMs, man. I still want still want to get that scene pop. Okay. Then let me know when you slide through slide through Atlanta, man. Okay, I'm about to let you know. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. So it's a yes or no. Uh, to date. Oh, to date. Uh, I don't know. Probably yes, just to see. Oh, okay. All right. All uh, right. Okay. Can you hold it down for me? I gotta use the bathroom, but I'm gonna put you on with somebody. Okay. Okay. MJ, you're here. MJ. Yeah. I guess not. Hello. What's going? Hello. Damn, I think my reception died. We hear you. Y'all hear me? Yes. Okay, nah, this shit. This shit happened. No? Nah, I can hear you. Okay, well, if you don't hear us. Jay, yeah, you're here? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we need to see you. Oh, hold on, my camera is good. Oh, can you hear me clearly? So we need to see you. We hear you. Uh, well, okay. I'm gonna put you on with somebody. They can't find out for him because I'm gonna be gone. But it's Rick. What's what's up? Hey. Hi there. <laughs> I can't hear you. Your mic is off. I don't. Want, I don't want these niggas to get behind me because I'm not a judgmental nigga. I'm a man of God, and thou shalt not judge. Man, I don't believe in judge. But what I did want to say is, I really don't give a fuck what the female I fuck with wears, because I don't want to sound cocky. Mm -hmm. Out of ten, I'm gonna be the flyest nigga in that bitch anyway. So if a nigga come, if a nigga come up, be like, damn, bro, your girl got. I mean, I'm the flyest nigga in here. You fly to me, no cocky shit. But do you really think what you got on fucking with what I got on? Well, no, no, okay then. So my girl come out this with a napkin on, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I. I it's, that's in me, you feel me? I don't, so I, I don't really, I don't really like all that judgmental shit. Like, oh, my girl can't wear this and she can't wear that. But. Yeah, like I get, like I do get, like certain people's stance on it. Cause, um, 
I feel like certain people, uh, it's it's a it's a different kind of mindset, and I feel like it's um you have to have a certain kind of level of security yeah. that almost seems like crazy to people. Oh like, yeah. Oh, like oh, she has her nipples out and she has a thought like so what? Like she's going home to this man. But see, this and thing, they doing what they doing after that because she look good. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna rub you. But see, we both creatives. So you know, a person outside of their creative, you know, they won't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's, I'm just I'm expressive. Um I like to like I like art. I like certain, you know, like I'm the type to put on body paint in a show like and I know like my chest is a little big, so is that gonna ruffle some feathers? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's I feel like it's just based on the person and how they how they want to like perceive people. themselves, you know what I mean? Exactly. I feel you, I feel you on it. But now nah, uh now nah, they done took my shit and one thing I is them red pill niggas that be like, Women are this, don't they single mothers and blah blah. I think them niggas lame as hell. And I think if you have a child and you got a son and he grow up off of that type of philosophy, he gonna be a lame ass nigga. So I when I wouldn't advise you to raise your son with all them fucking beliefs. Just let you know, let him be control over who he is as a man and see how far they gonna get him, you know? Yeah. I definitely definitely put up. Yeah, I, I just had to come clear my name because I ain't I ain't wanna <laughs> I'm on some motherfucker like, oh, he a judgmental ass nigga. He he don't want the jacket over her ass. No, I won't do no shit like that. But uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Hey, the last time we was on this motherfucker, you know they called they called you Karuche and they called me Chris. They said Chris trying to get Karuche back. I was like, damn. Did they really say that? I did not. I did not look like Karuche at all. What the fuck? But now, uh. I don't know what to say. I, okay, no worries. We we can go. Uh, <laughs> I'll be safe. Hi, Rick. Bye. Bye. All right. Um, let's see. We have one person you haven't talked to, and then we're done. That's the last one. Yeah. Yo yo. What's Hi. up? Hey, how's feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you? Shit, I'm tired of the fuck. I can't really hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Right, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I missed a lot of shit. I don't know uh, much. I didn't see any of my uh, stuff before, so I'm going to ask some repetitive questions. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so where are you from? I'm from New York City. I'm from Harlem. But I moved to like the Dallas area, like four years ago. Okay. Damn, I was uh, I actually used to live in Houston. I used to live in Katy for a little bit. I've never been in Houston. No. Yeah. How you how you live in Dallas? You ain't never been to Houston. Um, I just I go to work, do what I gotta do, and I go home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, but, I got a question. So. Yeah. How do you get the attention and keep the attention of a guy you like? How do I get the attention and keep the attention on me? Yeah, for the of a guy you like. Um, I, I don't know. I think I just I'm just me. Like I just uh, I'm just me. I've never had to like try and keep somebody's attention, but yeah. I mean. I have to try and keep some potty's attention. I probably don't want their attention anyway. But um yeah, no, I'm just me. I don't So what's what's your best and worst quality? My best quality, I think, is uh my best quality is um I think like Words of wisdom. I think I could, like, if somebody's feeling down or feel like, you know, there's something that they can't do or something like that, like, I'm really good with my words and, like, being supportive. I think I'm very supportive. Um, like, my worst quality is probably that I'm not as patient. Like, I'm quick to kind of 
with a lot of things to cut something off or to feel like if it's not feeding me, if I feel like it's not feeding me, to cut it off. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like that's my, like, worst quality is not having as much patience as I should. No, I feel you. I, I'm not, I'm not much with, with patience. I'll be. What, what's your worst quality? What's, your, what's, um, what's your red flag? Like, what do you feel like is a red flag for yourself? Like you need to. Like something that's bad about me? Yeah. I'm, I guess I you can say it's, too, I'm too, di- it's a good and bad quality. I'm too direct. You're too direct. Yeah. Like if it's, if I like, like if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. If I don't like you, I don't care if you know I don't like you. Okay. Yeah. And, and like, I, I don't know. It, it's, it, it's played good for me and it's played bad for me. Cause I'm not a super like political person. Okay. I, like, sit around and kind of like talking, like chop shit with a bunch of niggas doing a bunch of like weird shit. So. And so what, what is your like motivation? Like what's something that, like, what's a long term goal for you? So, <laughs> it's actually funny. But, uh, that's good. No, they, they in this, in the chat. They in a conversation. Man, you're mad crazy. But what's your long term goal? My long term goal. So, one, I, I can share, because I'm, I'm not really going to kind of share my goals for everything, but. When I do care to share, is me and one of my uh, one of my good brothers, we was talking about uh, buying land and try to build an estate together. Build an estate. Yeah, like two two different people, we put an uh, estate together. And you say you're talking about it, or have you done steps to already do it? No, so, like we we in the process. In the process, okay. Yeah. So doing doing like shit like that, or something like. But if it's something like me personally, I want to like, uh, I, I want to learn like uh, multiple languages. I know a little bit uh, of a few languages, but like really be fluent and travel and being able to talk in those languages. That's like a real long term goal. Yeah, I learned a little bit of French. I've been I've been teaching myself French. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Shit. Cuckoo. Huh? Cuckoo. I don't know that. Oh, <laughs> it's like hey hey pretty much like hey what's up but, oh, okay yeah yeah so but yeah uh, what's the long term goal with yours uh director like uh, movie? Make my own film yeah oh for real yeah yeah that's dope as hell why so are you like heavy like heavy in the film uh not not heavy into it but I've tapped into co-directing and stuff like that and I've realized like I really like it so I'm just trying to continue on that path of like directing and acting and content and stuff like that like I really like making videos and being a digital like creator you know I got you so like is it are you more in like the short film or is it like what what type of films are you like looking for? uh well the one I d- just did was a short film <laughs> okay. Is it uh is it online somewhere? Uh no, it comes out uh June second and it's called uh Thirty Days of Heartbreak. So it comes okay. out on YouTube. On June okay. 2nd. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a I'm a I'm a decent movie person. I don't sit and watch all the like super like weird shit, but I do like movies for sure. Okay. My family my dad was actually in movies and shit, so Oh, did. what's your dad? He was he was a uh, Robert Johnson, but he was in a uh, hoodlum. I don't know if you ever heard. It's an old gangster movie with uh, Lauren Fishburne and what's it called? Uh, what's it called? That you, know, you know who Bumpy Johnson is? He's actually in New York. They got a new little uh, Godfather of Harlem, Bumpy Johnson. It was a story. Awesome. Yeah, it was a story about Bumpy Johnson. Okay. Yeah. So, um, pineapples. Nothing in it. No. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I say it was the last one, but if we get some new people, real quick. Mm-hmm. Hello. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. How's it going? 
Good um, pineapples. Yeah. Okay. Hey, how y'all doing? Hi, right, what's going on over there? What's going on, Bailey? Uh, what's up, Dashay? Uh, so, yeah, I've been, you know, just tuning in uh, to the show tonight. You know, it's been, uh, it's been a little hectic, I see. You say you, see, you still haven't uh, met a guy that haven't amazed you yet? That's what you said? Well, um, <laughs> I was talking about as far as, like, like looks. Like, that gave me that, like, wow. Like, in my yeah, eyes. Trying to get, like, a model, a model nigga up in here and shit. <laughs> No, nah, not but, just like, like I said, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Right, but uh, um, I understand you into film and stuff like that. When you when you started getting passionate about that, uh, I actually got passionate about that when I got out of high school. I went to New York Film Academy and uh, wanted to like apply for the school and everything, but then I found out I was pregnant, so <laughs> I was like, can't do that right now. And so I had to wait a little bit, but uh, after I, recently I started getting back into like social media and stuff, so that kind of like sparked it. That's what's up, though, because I, I, I um that's a passion of mine as well, um you know since I was a kid. So I mean that's you know probably no face of line, right? But so what's so what's your end goal like with your uh, with your career? You want you trying to go to the Oscars, like? Trying to make it to Hollywood, like what's your what's your end goal? Uh, yeah, probably like to win an award, like a big award for my film that like I want to do or something. But um, you thought about your? Oh yeah, sorry, my Elijah, who is with you? Oh my bad. Hold on, let me uh turn this turn this off. No, it's fine. I'm just wondering who's with you. Uh nobody. Somebody Why smoking hookah? Huh? It sounds like somebody's smoking hookah. Nah, I had a fan a fan going on in the back. My, I just turned oh, it off. Okay, got you. okay. But yeah, you have um, have you thought about your like your uh your your like your like your award speech, anything like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you haven't thought that up far ahead, huh? Nah. That's all, that's all good. That's all good. Um, but yeah, so uh, you know, like where are I, you from? I'm from Buffalo. Buffalo, New York. Buffalo? Oh, you all the way up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm upstate, you know. I'm going to try to get downstate, you know, pretty soon. Trying to go for, for some auditions or something. So, yeah. Okay. But, and, you, um, and acting? Hmm? Yeah, and for, like, acting, yeah. Yeah. I, did, I went to school for, like, theater and stuff like that. Um, I haven't finished. Plan on going back. It just wasn't right for me at the moment. So just taking a little break. Okay, that's good. No, I can actually see you in like, like actual like doing movies and like stuff like that. But appreciate that's that's really cool. Um, yeah, um, pineapples though. Yeah, he was, he was a cool dude, but he was. Definitely. Okay, and let me see if we have anybody. It's. No, you're good. Hey, hey, how you do? Hi. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Belly? I'm good. How are you? You doing good? I can't complain. Yo, um, how you say Deja? Dashay. Dashay, I'm sorry. Um, I just want to salute your mindset. Like, uh, you 26 and you young, and I don't um really hear see a lot of females with that perspective and mindset you got. Um, I think. I want to raise you like. Raise old parents or you know your father raised you you seem to have a lot of old school values about you uh so my uh my mom she's a single mom and um can you hear me by the way yeah i can hear you fine uh my mom she's a single mom but um my dad he lived in delaware like i said my dad he kind of lived two lives so he had a wife a whole family sure a different uh state and then my mom raised us but it's really my old, my older brother. My okay. older brother is eleven years older than me, and uh, he taught me how to play basketball. He taught me everything I need to know. Like, so I kind of like it's like kind of my mom and my brother. Hey, that's what's up, man. You seen well around it. That's it. It was just uh, y'all the only two siblings. 
from the uh, uh my brother was the oldest and then uh there was three sisters after him so he had three younger sisters okay for sure oh uh, man um i can't really do too much because um i mean i, I see uh, i caught like part of the conversation so i ain't really see the whole thing um Every now and then I jump on the internet and see Melly's show, man. Um, I like I like what you created here. It kind of reminds me of that show back in the day. Uh, uh, next, you know, jump on the bus and date, and then it oh, yeah, I remember that. That's crazy. I'm sorry, T.E. The chat has spoken. They say you gotta go. I'm sorry, but I appreciate you though. Um, okay, we got. I, I keep on saying one more, but stay there till six, seven to to go in the money and everything. Oh, okay. Z. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey. How you doing, Melly? I'm a I'm a fan of right, your show. You. Thank yeah, you. I watch it. I be I be like busy sometimes, but I catch a little bit of it. But today I actually had time, so I was like, hey, let me hop on real quick, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But what I really wanted to ask was for Deshae was, like, I see that she travels a lot. So I was kind of like thinking like, um, like you don't ever be meeting guys like in person, like, or would you rather actually meet a guy like over like online? Um, I actually prefer meeting people in person. I think yeah. it's a lot more like stronger when you meet people in person. Yeah. But oh, okay. Um, I I don't ever meet um like a guy and just like think that um I don't know. I just I don't ever meet a guy and like think like oh this is gonna be something that's like a like relationship or something. I just always like meet friends. I feel like and then I'm like oh okay like they're cool whatever. But yeah, I I kind of prefer meeting people in um in person. Oh, I got a nice comment. Haha. <laughs> but uh yeah, so that's that's cool. That's cool. Like I see you cut hair. I definitely what am I? You get give me a little a little clean up now and then, you know what I'm saying? But um so I seen I seen um I seen like some of the some of the conversation and I was just wondering like I don't know if somebody asked you that or not, but like, what's some things you like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun. I I really like museums. Like, I will find a new museum to to go to or just see what's in Dallas. Um, also, there's this thing like like things to do in Dallas type thing, and I have like I've seen like um, just like all kinds of crazy things like. There's this one, like they have a candle show in Dallas. It's like basically these people play live instruments with like a bunch of candles around. It's really cool. And they'll play live instruments of like songs like Adele. Like they'll have a whole like thing of Adele and stuff like that. It's just like I'll look up stuff like that, just like random stuff to do. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, for me, like I, I kind of don't be doing much. Um like where I live at, there's a lot of stuff to do. Like I live in Florida, so the beach is a, a really good vibe. But as of as of lately, I haven't really been doing much. But I got big plans for like the future. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like I definitely goals. will be doing things. Yeah, have like goals and things that like I feel like I will be doing eventually. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, but. Like maybe maybe if you come down to Florida type thing, like we could chill sometime, you know. But you okay. know, never, I mean, you never know type thing. You never know. But I also saw that you're you're uh, Pisces. Are you a February or March Pisces? March. Oh, I'm a February Pisces. Yeah, February. Dang. Yeah, yeah. So like, would you would do do you ever like? Would you ever date like somebody of the same sign or not? Nah? I don't know about that one. That one's a little. <laughs> no. <laughs> Another Pisces is crazy. I need a little balance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. No, nah, I mean, I mean, you never know, right? Like, a Pi some Pisces are crazy. Some Pisces might not be that crazy, you know? Like, they might be 
more like they might be more chill. Like you say you chill, you more like a chill person. You don't like to argue and stuff. I'm kind of similar to that. Like my family upbringing and stuff like that. We don't really like to argue and stuff really that much. Like, and I might, I might not like if I disagree with you, unless I like strongly disagree with you, I probably will just agree. Unless it's like something that I strongly disagree about, like, like the thing with Sierra and Russell, I feel like people just be hating on, like hating on Russell just cause he's, just cause he's uh like a Christian guy, and like he's he's going through a lot of scrutiny day and on Sierra nowadays because because of like how he's he's trying to be, he's trying to be like more famous now, and not just focusing on football. So they like hating on him for that. And she's like, you know, like a pop star, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then on top of that, like he had he got a follow up, uh, he got a follow up future. Like that's that's kind of hard to follow him. Uh, I don't know if you heard me. Did I speak loud enough? It's okay. No, you didn't speak. You you mouthed the word, and I saw it. Lucky. I, I'm not posting it. I was like, okay, I'm thinking of breaking his toss. Like. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking at him, but I saw you in the corner. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, wait, last one. Okay. Hi. Of course I get chosen. Hold on. Okay. What's the word? Hi. How you doing? I'm good. All right. So how old is you? Because I ain't going to lie. I ain't, I ain't really been tuned in all night. I'm trying to like trying to catch up. So what's up? How old are you? I'm 26. 26. How? What's your age range? Because I, I don't know that either. Like, what do you like? What do you look for as like, far as age is concerned? Like, youngest and oldest. Huh? What's your youngest and your oldest? I want to know your age range. What you will deal with? Uh, like 26 to 25. I mean, 26 to 35. Okay. All right. So I definitely am in there. I'm definitely in that range. Uh, so you went to Dallas area. Oh, some niggas already hating, you know. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So um what's your dream job? Like what if it like because we all need to make money to sustain our, our livelihood in this on this planet, you know. Saying, what is your dream job? In, uh, a director. What's your dream job? In life. I, I, my dream job is to be a director. What's your dream job? Well, my dream job is. <laughs> I don't even like saying my dream job because it's it be sounding crazy to people who who don't know my motherfucking body. You know what I'm saying? Who don't know how I get who who don't know how I get down, but my dream job is like being one of the biggest artists in the world. No cap. He said, "Okay, good night." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm be killing me in the comments. Well, C60, I hope you become the biggest artist in the world. I'm with you. Um, yo, the chat is out of control, so I think that's it. They still what, okay. Wait, okay, we're gonna add this one. That's the last one for real. The chat be clowning me because I always say last one and then there's more, but <laughs> he came on and then we didn't hear him, so that's why. Hi, okay, hi, right, what's up? Hi, how are you? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you one question. No, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna prolong this no longer. Mm -hmm. Um, so you got you got one kid, like let's say. Let's say for the right man, would you have more kids? Oh uh, yes, I would. Like, uh, let's say, let's say three. You ready to push out three? Like three more, including like, like three more, three, like three more. By the time you thirty-two, he got he got some bread, so he he able to uh finance it. Finance it. Yeah, like of course, three kids. You gotta, you can't just expect that. Like, you gotta have some. For me, some some bread behind that. Oh yeah, like more than like, like you, are you ready to emotionally take on? Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying like three kids, but like that's three what... kids within five years. 
but it would be really four kids. Are you are you emotionally like the question is are you emotionally ready to take on four kids? Because I have a kid already, so. Yeah, exactly. Like, are you ready to? I mean, because I already have kids, so I know what it's like having kids. But are you talking about reference yeah. to? You? Yeah, he he ready. Like he ready. You you saying reference to me? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I guess I right, me. Yeah. Like I, I already know. Of course, if I'm talking about it, I'm already prepared mentally, physically, all that. Spiritually, I'm obvious. I'm prepared for it. Where Where are you from? Are you from north up north? <laughs> Yo, this my shit be my shit is kind of breaking up a little bit. Stuff a lot. But yeah, I'm from the north. Where you think I'm from? You definitely have to be from New. York. Definitely. Or New York or New Jersey. I mean, if you know New York, nah, you know New Jersey. Get out of here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm I'm from over there, but yeah, I just want to I just want to ask you that I ain't going because this chat I don't really be jacking the, the vibe of her chat like it be over for me, so we ain't going we ain't going to do too much. It was for me nice seeing you though, but just 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 know you got real niggas out there like you got real niggas that if you willing to do like like give him give him some kids and all of that like. That one kid you got, that's nothing. Like, oh. niggas, I'll, I'll step in there fully to fall to that whole six year old. Okay. <laughs> Gangster. <laughs> okay. You, 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 you really gonna hear that type of perspective though, but you heard it here first. Okay, word. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, right. exact supremacy. Thank you. <laughs> you heard it here first. You're gonna father a whole six year old, not a half a whole. A whole. Well, that's it. We're done. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, I appreciate you for coming very, very last minute. You're welcome. You made it happen. Uh, guys, if you want to find the shade, this is her IG right here. Go check her out. Text her, not text, DM her, follow her, like, comment, do what you do so she can see you. But um, so we had a, a lot. You you remember everybody you liked or no? Yes, Mars. I think that's his name. His full name is Marseille. Marseille. Mm -hmm. The um, was it the slap? Okay. Yeah. And uh, Rick. Rick. Yes. It does another one too. The, I mean, the guy that I was talking to. Before about the acting and stuff. Oh, Jufasa. Jufasa, yeah. Wait, I thought you liked the other guy with um. He had a choker on and he had dreads. The, one of the first guy we talked to, actually, I think he was the first. Oh yeah, I forgot his name. Uh, Carrie. Carrie. Oh yeah, he was cool. I liked him because mm -hmm. yeah, the uh, he's like the. Um, oh, he had a kid too. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Well, I appreciate you for coming. And uh, would you like to say anything else? Um, thank you guys so much for having me. I hope I didn't piss you guys off too much in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> if one thing you said, they were like, no, fuck her. I know, right? I was like, goddamn, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, was, thank you so much for having me again. No problem. Thank you. Well, you have a good night. You too. Bye, girl. Bye. All right, guys, that was the Shay. If you didn't get a chance to talk to her, we've been here for a minute. But if you didn't get a chance, this is her IG. Go check her out. She has some cool pictures, cool videos. Check her. Uh, yes, his name was Slap Dessert. That's, that was his name, I remember. Um, she was hella cute and fine. Did you guys like her? Um, thanks, Miss Pasty. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys won't let that go. You get one shot with the sh with the chat. I know she said one thing wrong. You guys are done. I'm tired. I've seen in the comments somebody talking about I got bags. Fuck you. Yes, I got bags. So, um, somebody says she boring. No, she's not boring. She's just more like chill. She's chill, I think. Um, oh, somebody say no, very boring. She better make one of these dates work. 
She was cute. Yes. Um, what else? Was it hard show? Did you think so? Hard in what way? Um, <laughs> somebody said check bags. Fuck you. I don't care. Leave me alone. I'm tired. I'll be working. Uh, many works hard to give you service. Yes, I work hard. I try. I'll be trying. Uh, the hard way. She swallowed the pineapple before she came on. What are you talking about? She dry. Oh, that's what you mean? No. All right. Well, that's it. Um, that's all we have. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry for changing the time, you know, for um, the, what's her name, canceling jazz. Actually, jazz DM me during the show talking about, um, and somebody said you be traveling with no sleep. Well, hey, we're trying. We're, we're trying to make, to travel and still have the show happen. Millie, you have the best show on YouTube. I love you. Oh, thank you, David. Thank you. But yeah, Jazz uh, DM'd me and she said, I'm about to hop on. That was at, I don't know what time she said that, but like it was about 9.45, 9.50. And I was like, girl, you're a whole hour late. And she says, you said nine. Yes, nine, not 10. So I don't know if we got it messed up, mixed up. She got it mixed up. I don't know. But hey, it is what it is. So I don't know if we will reschedule her. Now I'm scared. You know me. You do me one time uh, like this. You send me up. I, I don't know. It's going to be tough for me. But uh, we'll see. Somebody says she was scared of the chat. No, she said she's about to hop on. So I think she was really going to come. But when I told her, hey, I found somebody else, then um, that, that's that. So that's it. Let's hear. Let's leave on... Um, Somebody said, nah, she played us. Uh, she played me. Okay, well, she played us, really. Uh, Jazz is the girl is in the thumbnail. I don't know. I changed the thumbnail. I don't know if it updated, but hey, we'll change everything for real. Um, uh, let's see. We're going to go with Chibs because Chibs didn't sing today. I want him hey, to sing. Hi. <laughs> My battery is low. No worry, I got to sing. Okay, so I let's, got eight let's go. Yeah. You got what? I got a clip. <laughs> I got a clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. <sighs> it's been so long that I haven't seen your face. I'm to be strong, but it's straight ahead. It's washing away. It will be long before I get you by my side. Let me hold you, kiss you, squeeze you. This was been on my mind. I wanna make up right now, now, now. I wanna make up right now, now, now. Wish we never broke up right now, now, now. We need to link up right now, now, now. I wanna make up right now, now, now. I wanna make up right now, now, now. Wish we never broke up right now, now, now. We need to link up right now, now, now. Girl, I know. Mistakes were made between us two. I wish your eyes that now. Even says some things went true. Where'd you go? And haven't seen my girl since then. Why can't this be the way it works? Cause you're my homie, lover, friend. I wanna make up right now, now, now. I wanna make up right now, now, now. Wish we never broke up right now, now, now. We need to link up right now, now, now. I wanna make up right now, now, now. I wanna make up right now, now, now. Wish we never broke up right now, now, now. We need to link up right now, now, now. I can't lie. Maybe every day goes by. 
I miss you much. Till I get get another try. I miss you much. You are the apple of my eyes. Ooh. I can't lie. Watching every day goes by. Miss you much. Till I get get another try. You are the apple of my eyes. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Chibs, that was terrible. Chibs. <laughs> Usually you're better than this. What was it? First of all, I didn't know the song, so that was one. But second, like, no, no. Tonight was terrible. <laughs> it's good the shade didn't hear. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. Chips. I still love you, though. <laughs> but today was bad. Um... <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, that is the best performance. All right, you guys, uh, we're going to go. I'm tired. Um, but I see it's a lot of people here. How about I put everybody on the screen and I don't talk? So you guys can, can talk to each other a little bit. I don't know what you guys want to say, but I'm adding everybody. Yo. Hey, hold on, hold hey, what's on. Up? What's up? Yeah, what's buddy, up? Yeah, buddy. Hold on, hold Melly, on. Melly, but Melly, Real quick. I, I ain't what mean no disrespect to Shorty. I want her to perform a verse on her song. I want her to perform a verse. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, what's, what's up? Crazy. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all think she should perform a song? A, a verse? Just one verse? Yeah, Melly, Melly, yeah. Say, say something for us. What's up? fucking happening? No. Melly, Melly oh, not really about that music. That's crazy. Melly not really about that music shit. She not about that music shit. So I ain't, I'm giving her a break. She not really about that Melly music shit. Melly be flying though. Really Melly really, it. really yeah, your music go hard. Though. Her fool, y'all. She with the shit. She a performer if y'all really yeah. go. No, I heard that word yeah. shit. Melly, yeah. Melly, got, yeah. Melly got some bars. She, 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 she oh. eats. Yeah, Melly do got bars music, though. Music you not really her passion like for real. So that's why I'll yeah. be trying to put that music shit on her. She's not really about it. I should listen to her. Y'all should listen to her song Streets. Listen to uh, Melly's song Streets. She knows that's, that's like the that's first like song I heard of. Uh, hey, put some money in this motherfucker so she can perform. I'm not performing. <laughs> you guys spend your money, guys, and then tell me why you're not going. Melly's song, yeah. Melly song Streets is fire, though. Melly song Streets is fire, though. I listen to it like, like every day. That's like on my playlist. So, hey, so but Melly, I ain't mean no disrespect to Shorty on the show. And and the girl I'm talking to, I don't know if that one really counts. Why? <laughs> it counts. You say you're talking to a girl and she got four kids right now. M more than four kids. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shorty, but I, 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 I don't mind dating single moms. I, I, you know, I'm What's up, Yam? Yeah? What's up with you, man? How y'all feeling today? I'm doing good. I feel I'm good. Sorry, seven. How many kids she got? Seven? Five of them. Right. <laughs> she got five of them. You sneeze around her, she getting pregnant. Man, she fine as hell. I'm already she knowing. Them be the ones, hey. too, that be, hey. You, you not pulling up out of that, boy. Hey, hey, I'm already not. knowing. Them be the ones, too. Wait, 360, what you saying? You're like, hell no, because she got five kids? I ain't finna take you seriously. You got if you got a kid already, like what the fuck you mean? If you ain't, if you got a kid, or, if I'm not the first motherfucker impregnating you, then I can't take you seriously. Is my is my like why did that? Like, but why does that matter though? Whether if she have a kid or not? Nigga. There's if, there's I, if, I, if I explain to you, my nigga, my nigga, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. You ask me a listen, question, ask me a question listen, if you want to answer listen, it. Let me answer listen, the question, bro. Listen, there are, some, <laughs> there are some men in, there are some men in this world that will actually take care of another of another woman's kid and accept and accept that as a package deal. And there's some men that won't. And I'm type of and I'm yeah. that and I'm that type of man that actually would do that. Like that would take care. Like I accept that as a package deal. Like I've dated women with kids before, and it's never been a problem for me. It's never been a deal breaker. So I accept that as a package deal. Cause like you know how there are some kids out here that don't grow up with both parents or having a parent figure in their life or as a role model. You feel me? If I like the girl enough, I can, I can, I can, I can, you know, I can grow to love the kid too. <laughs> I'm not a pick me and I'm not a simp. I'm like, I'm an alpha male. I don't play that shit. I don't play that shit. Don't play that shit. 
We already seen you, boy. Stop it, boy. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not the same. I'm not the same. I'm not the same person that I used to be. I actually leveled up. Hey, hey, man. Daquan, bro, we didn't already sing you, my dog. Look, I ain't no player hater, bro, but we didn't already sing you, bro. Stop the wow. cap, my nigga. Stop it. Like my nigga, stop but the cap. We didn't already sing you, bro. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna, gonna be on this show. I ain't no player hating ass nigga, bro. We didn't already sing you, bro. Stop the cap, bro. That's not a motherfucking twin bed. That's a fucking four. Where do you see a fucking twin bed? Like, the fuck? The fuck? Y'all, y'all, y'all. But <laughs> Belly, man, look, Daquan, look, bro. Hey, hold on, no, hey, y'all bro. gotta chill, bro. We can't Belly, you said earlier. No, I'm on some cool shit, bro. I'm on some cool shit. I'm really listening, bro. I'm really listening. I'm letting niggas talk. Real shit. I'm letting niggas talk. Melly, you said you said uh, you seen one of my videos earlier, right? I got three dance videos up, da- three dance cover videos up, so on my channel. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Damn, bro, you can't say you're alpha, then you're gonna say you got dance videos. That boy said, he an alpha male, boy. Daquan. You can't say you alpha, bro. You got fucked up on it by Melly, bro. You can't say you're alpha, bro. I'm sorry. I'm he the sorry. alpha of the pack right now. Big stuff. Bro. He big dog right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you say what, Melly? Daquan, would you like to sing for all of us? I'm not in the singing mood today. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not in the oh, singing man. mood. Don't, don't sing, man. Melly ain't gonna perform. Man, talk that man. shit, Daquan. No, why hey. well, y'all really want me to sing? No, wow. no, I want, I want. If Melly don't perform a song, I don't want to hit nothing. Right, but like I said, I'm not really. I'm not really. Melly not gonna do shit. Melly not gonna do shit. Melly not gonna do shit. But Melly can definitely check. But Melly, you can definitely check out my uh, dance videos. So they're up though. They're like they're not bad though. I got some great Daquan, I want you to sing for me. Cause don't listen to Yam. I want you. to you can't do much worse than tears, man. Yeah, you can't do much worse than tears. You, you know, it don't, yeah. you know. So they, they, uh, they coin you're gonna sing or no? Yeah, like what, what song do you want me to sing? I, I can do a snippet. I want I'll be. <laughs> I knew I was gonna do something. I was gonna switch it up this time. I was gonna do something different. No, I'll be. Well, all right, Melly. <laughs> I I can't do this. I can't do this with all of them here because I'm gonna get like I uh, I have to calm well, down. Well, look at them. All right, all right. I'm looking at you. I'm looking directly at you. All right. All right. The strands in your <clears throat> wait. Hold on. The strands in your eyes, color them wonderful, stop me, and steal my breath. And emeralds from mountains, thrust towards the sky, never revealing the death. And tell me that we belong together. To dress it up no. with the trappings of love. I'll be captivated. I'll hang from your limbs instead of the gallows of heartache that hang from above. And I'll be your crying shoulder. I'll be love suicide. And I'll be the bad when. Order. I'll be the greatest fan of your life. See, like I said, I'm really not really in much of a singing mood, but I can, like, I rap better. I, I rap a lot hey, better than I sing. Rap that oh, shit. I got bars. I got bars. I rap more than I sing. I rap more than I sing. I got bars. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. C60 was talking he wanted to be the greatest artist, and he said all this shit. I want to hear him spit too. I want to hear me. Listen, niggas don't want to hear me spit, boy. Niggas don't want to hear me spit, boy. Listen, niggas don't really want to hear me spit, boy. I'm really about that shit, boy. Niggas don't want to hear me. We see you. We gotta hear that shit. Huh? C60, we need to hear it, bro. 
See, I really want to get on a talent show, but Melly got rid of that shit. Melly got rid of that talent show shit. She really she wants to do like the like the little call in show. I really want to get on that shit. But guess what? You're not about your music, like you said about me. I'm really about it. Music. I'm really about it though. I spit. If Melly want to hear me spit, I spit. Check it out. Go crazy right now. I bet. Heart racing fast, but not skipping the beat. Do the dash after my tip and the freak. Bitch, watch this, watch this step. Don't be tripping on me because I'm here for the day. We'll be gone in a week. Gone with the wind. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn because I'm just living, man. I'm going postal, but that get back you down in the bank. The car finna shoot me. You can stay on the middle, man. Center of attention, like Bill Russell. Got my bread up and a nigga still hustle. Got my bread up and a nigga still hustle, boy. <laughs> watch the step, watch. <laughs> Hold on. I, as a kid, right, so we're proud of me, man. We're proud of me, superstar. I'd be wonder how shit gonna look like I'm Stevie. Believe me, the prison I gotta see. Culinary arts, I cook these scrubs. Head never bound. I'm looking up. Back in the day, they would give me shit. Never hit the fan. Never took that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You could say I'm aggressive, but I like a set of considers. I'm cocky, but I prefer confident. Bragging our books, I spike with do most of the zippos can handle the nigga will be popping shit. Fuck on the shawty on God, she be feeling she using that lingo. I don't know the meaning. I'll stay, she stay in the city, hop back on the different. I, be, I can't even do it right now. Hold on, nigga. I can't even do it right now, dig? You know I can't even do it right now. Hold on. Okay, I, okay, I'm gonna honestly say this. You got bars. Go I ain't ahead. gonna say, I you ain't got bars. You, you do got bars, but my bars are a lot quarter than that. I got better bars than that. It's gonna come a lot harder than that. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm tipsy right now, nigga. That, I'm tipsy right now. I can't even tip for real. Niggas can't, for real. Niggas, niggas can't fuck with me, bro. Niggas can't fuck with me, bro. Excuse me. Niggas can't fuck with me, bro. Niggas can't fuck with me. You say you got better bars. I want to hear. Let's go. Like I said, I rap better than I seen. I want to hear that. We all want to hear that shit. See, if you want to hear that shit, we all want to hear that shit, boy. All right, <laughs> all right. My back's against the wall, and all y'all do is laugh. Sometimes people throw this say, "Well, I guess I'm a side stare to happen in this world." Don't mean that you're miserable. Hell, I don't want to see any of y'all so turn invisible. Y'all trying to get against me? Well, I'm thinking that y'all all out of luck. Y'all look ashamed, looking black in the face, laughing with a duck with a big shot off, and I and I run this game, yo. And it is my time. Y'all say y'all good and cold, man. Stop lying. <laughs> no, I got hey, one. I'm, 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 I'm don't go don't try. Don't try to do me, bro. Hey, don't try boys, me. be good. Thanks, Melon. All right, thank you, Seven. Man, look. I'm either I'm either I'm either trying to get the, the notoriety of somebody who like really popping for real. Or I'm trying to get a bad bitch on my dick. Like, what's 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 the difference? I'm trying to get one of the two. That's the only way I'm trying to spit some shit. You know what I'm saying? I know. I already know. I got the talent. I already know. I got the swag. I got everything. What, 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 what's, what, what am I doing it for, though? That's my that's my thought process when it comes to this shit. Well, I'm not a bad bitch, so, you know what I'm saying? Y'all <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a bunch of niggas on this motherfucking <laughs> shit. All right, well, um, that's oh, it for so. Day Day. So that's it for you. Uh, and we, we C60, that's it for you, too. Thank you for your rap, sir. Three Ps, you haven't been saying much. Do you have uh, last words? <laughs> I mean, I'm, and you're I, speechless. I mean, I, I was entertaining. It was entertaining. Man. Like I support the brothers, you know what I'm saying. But like, I mean, uh, the Gina, uh, the shade. I was listening to her like the whole show, but then like, like at first I was finding her attractive. I'm fit for her, but then as I heard her leveling herself through the show. Kind of like went all the way down, bro. Cause like, mm -hmm. I can already see my time to be wasted. Like, yeah, I hear you. I, 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 we in the same city. I mean, I'm gonna cut the temple. Mm -hmm. I ain't for the be. I ain't for the be in your inbox. I mean, I ain't. I ain't for do all that. You know. Like, yeah. Oh well, she was. Oh yeah. Hopefully, I emailed you. I, yeah. I emailed you my information to send to her, and um, I also gave you my like a little scripture in my Bible. It's called my mm -hmm. pimp Bible, and it gives okay. you some good knowledge about what she was talking about: temps, hair burning, uh, track record, her body count. You can look at that. Okay, shit. Please, I, I'm gonna read it. Yeah, it say it say three P's F O, then it say then it got slash for the shape. Let me see if I see it right now. Yeah. Uh, no, you you send it to Maddie Monaco or to the other one? 
it's Melly. I think Melly. It's to say three P. Uh, I don't see three P at all. I don't see info. It. It's the one where you know what your screensaver. You got like you got like like an outfit on. I have what? You got like an outfit on, like like a. Uh, it's like yellow. I think it's Melly Monaco. What at the Monaco? Yeah, well, I don't see three P's at all. It's not there. I, 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 I press it, I press sent, and it stays sent. Oh, you know, you know what? I can probably show it. I can show it. I can pass it. Right here, man. I got it right here. I, I don't know how I can click it. Click it. See if you can see if you can see it. It's right. Here. See it. See it. Do you see that? Okay, shit. I want to read it. Yeah, I can't read from here, but to go right now. It, it's hard, but um, you want, me, you want me to read it to you? Okay, read this for me, and then we're out. Let's go. Okay, okay. This this is what a lot of this is what a lot of men don't understand. Okay, you know, they say we are designed to have sex. Women are biology. And partially, how uh, uh, hyper, what's it called? Hypergamic, how you say the word? A problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say partially hypergamous because, you know, women are sexually. So it don't matter what kind of rank a man might have. If he, just, if he can sexualize her, like, if he can. We can't hear you really well. So what? We can't hear you really well. It's like your sound is cutting off. Oh. What about now? I think it's fine. Cut it off. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try, I'm I'm gonna send it to you again, man, and see if you got. Let's send it to Melly Monaco One at gmail.com so I can see it. No period. No. Nothing. Just Mighty Monaco one. Okay. I got you. Well, I appreciate you. All right. You, you know what? You be looking you be looking funny when you be doing those comments. So you be trying not to laugh, but I'll be watching you. I be trying. I try. <laughs> All right, man. I like I that hairstyle, by the way, too. All right. Bye. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. We're leaving. It was a long ass show, three hours and 42. I know it didn't start until 42 minutes. But hey, we're here. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy the show. Hopefully we come back on Wednesday. I got the girl already. And um, that's it. That's all I got for you. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, the, the traveling one <clears throat> and the car one, Many Motors or and Many Travels. I appreciate you for your support, for coming here every week, twice or three times a week. And um, that's it. That's all I got to say. I talk too much for tonight. All right. You guys have a good evening. Goodbye.